Dave's gonna peck my noodle. No, I'm not pecking his noodle. <laughs> 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 I've had guys me. beg to feed me. Really? You kind of do, you do it you pretty around. You turn me on. Some people like, they're into that stuff, man. <laughs> this man is a savage. They're the perfect size. Get my hands on them. <laughs> <laughs> he's on his knees, and he's just like, you know. <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You'll get it. Oh, oh, oh. In one of our oh. videos. So you guys use toys in your relationship? <laughs> no, no, no. I do not take it like a champ. To me, I mean, you. to me, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I should have a butt crack. Oh. You being serious? Yeah, right what? Now? Well, I've never actually have a shaved butt crack. Yes, right I, now. You never like no. right now. You have a shaved butt crack. <laughs> I have a shaved butt crack right now. Hey, I shaved it right before we. I, I've been kicked out of a couple strip clubs for watching or for doing what? Why have we had these conversations? Oh, you do uh, exercises to keep a pussy tight. Oh, you never told me that. We've never had this conversation. <laughs> We've been together for like a year, and you haven't told me that. Okay, like, no, hold on. You be like, very careful no, with whatever next sentence. She's very open about. Like, Babe, you don't take nudes. I do. I show sure you think I don't take nudes. So you place. relax your asshole in the presence of me? <laughs> Got him! No, I I've never done that in front You've of me. You've never bounced your Got him! Oh, I totally have. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the coolest club I've ever had. Really? Welcome to the, cl the clickbait thumbnails. <laughs> this is what I do with my husband all the time. I'm like, kiss awesome. me. He knows, he knows how to run his channel. <laughs> Knows how to do this. What's going on, people? How's it going? Get those views. I'm not feeling it enough. You're not feeling. Okay, no, honestly, need to take a couple Nick, I'm a little scared. I know, me too. Well, listen, how much bigger am I? I'm a lot bigger. Well, not that much. I mean, enough where two shots does nothing. Okay. okay well, what you gotta do? All right. <sighs> That's this is honestly, everyone. If you're over the age of 21, you can totally take this message seriously, and you guys can uh, oh, can immerse right yourselves. In I, love, I, I like it. I like this. You get straight up. But, straight up. Um, well, I'm gonna do straight up to that babe. That's your drink. Hi, everybody. By the way, Eric the Electric, come to you guys. Eric the Electric uh, and Mrs. Electric. We're actually representing Team Electrics right now. <laughs> they have um, a channel, combined channel. That's where we do our. And then he d he's a food guy too. So if you like all my videos where I eat, you're gonna definitely like him because he <laughs> eats way more. Watch. If you guys want to like get an appetite, go and check it out. You know, he eats channels. a lot. We did some collabs over there, so go see his uh, his Electrics channel and his other channel. Thank you. I appreciate Cheers. it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Go ahead and pour it for me. Uh, this is this is my bartender over right. here. <laughs> hey guys, what, in. what kind of tip does he get? Well, let's, oh, let's find see. out. Let's see how I good. I take food as tips. Too. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see how good he does this. Ooh. Oh, oh that's a double shot. Yes. Oh, you just wanted one. <laughs> He's like, oh, you just wanted one shot. I mean, well, what if I don't like it? I do one with me then. Cheers. <gasps> did I tell you or did I tell you? Oh, that's nice. High, high five. Oh, oh, that's nice. Superior taste bud too, right now. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Oh, it's I like, like that. It's like an alcohol cinnamon toast crunch party in your mm, mouth. It gets you it's all like excited. spicy. Mm. She, she has to look pretty for it. Do it get your hair good. <laughs> Colorful drink for the lady. Whoa. She's got talent. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. You know, I like the fireball more. Okay, yep. well, I you do. Guys I do too. <laughs> I'm watching Eric fart. <laughs> so I'm watching him fart right now. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it on purpose, babe? Gosh, man, I'm you gotta go, you gotta just... go. I came up with this. I just have to take credit for this combination. And what are you gonna call this drink? Um, the creamy. <laughs> Okay. I <laughs> you know what your mind is on right now. <laughs> well, well, it's, well, it's that looks like pee. It's diet cream soda. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot, Eric. Well, that's mostly soda, right? It's mostly soda. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers. That's creamy. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this is I li I like Fireball. Fireball. Is I've never heard of it until right now. Basically, everyone, I'm always right. Mm. I'm always right with everything. everything. He said this was gonna be good, and it actually is really good. Ding, ding, ding. ding. <sighs> Ooh. 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 That is hard. delicious with the cream soda. Whoa. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Oh, you trick it on the bone. I mean, that's the that's the way to do it. That's delicious. I know it is. Um, this this stuff. I actually, you didn't even know what this was an hour. I'm ago. saying now. Now I know it's delicious. Okay. Gosh. The electrics we have we have banter like this all the time. You know when you find a good person. Am I the only one leaning forward? I'm like, 
Oh, well, I guess I can leave it. Why? It's probably just the way my body It is amazing, so. So we're just gonna eat, I guess. I mean, guys, we uh, we pretty much got- Do you got feel it? Oh, I'm a, I feel the oh, there's, there's so much oh, drama. Oh, there's so much drama. We were just talking about all the different niche dramas. Yeah, where it's just there's like drama so everywhere. Crazy. I'll just, I'm just the drama talker. You're the drama <laughs> I wanna discuss it. You're the addresser. And talk it, and whistle blow it, and just put it out there. But I'm not the one that usually causes it. And you know what? Honestly, that's what YouTube needs. You need, you know, you need that person to report it. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say you're the you're reporter. The report, you're I'm the reporter. reporter. You're a reporter. Dun, 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 dun. So <laughs> Veronica Wang is me. <laughs> My man. She was mean to me. Well, you know what? There are people like that in the world, unfortunately. But okay, so um, just hang out with us. You saw the introduction, these are the electrics, Eric the Electric, I'm Nick Avocado Avocado. Oops, I'm not gonna say that word. I'm gonna say Nick Avocado. Nick Avocado. Yeah. Nick. Mm -hmm. They know and what I happens. K. K. They know, they know what happens. I showed them my videos where the translation says bad, bad things. <laughs> you don't control that. You no. You also does not no, control the ad that you see. I'm not. What was that? We have that? a ghost in here. That was, what was that? sounded like your camera, actually. It sounded like a dunk dunk, like something oh, like I just got this one oh, right here. Then shoot, what was that? I'm honestly too like heavy to get up to go look at it. So. Honestly, we have a ghost story about Airbnb. <gasps> that tell, tell right now. Yes, you want to talk about that right now? While I let's get started. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna get started on one of these chicken nuggets uh, right here. Um, uh, so, so he's in Texas doing a tour. First of all, context here. I do food challenges. Okay, I travel around and I go to restaurants and I eat food challenges. And I'm his girlfriend and I watch him do it. And I watch from my computer. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, and then we were in San Antonio doing a food challenge, and I mm. decided to pick a very cheap Airbnb. And unfortunately, that cheap Airbnb turned out to be how a, cheap? I will talk. We'll Thirty dollars a night. Yeah, you yeah. cheap fuck. So <laughs> cheap, right? Well, and like I didn't make more bad. bad. And okay. the be the best part is, is that like we're so new in our relationship. I was like, I gotta be the cool chick and not complain. It was like 90 degrees in there, and there was a ghost in there. There's no AC? No, no AC. No AC. You cheap fuck. <laughs> no, I'm so cheap. Oh my god, if I was your girlfriend, you'd be like, I learned from that experience, all right? Punch you in the nuts. I, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I learned from that experience. I woke up that night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Every time I have a paranormal experience, I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. All the time. <laughs> oh, my, my husband too, 3 o'clock. Really? That's so weird. Yeah, he's, his whole family is haunted. That's, let's keep going into your story. I want to. I don't want to hijack your story, but yeah. It, he You're gets, telling that after. He gets sleep paralysis, dude. Do you ever get that? Yeah, I got that too. Sleep paralysis. I have like a figure above a my figure above your face. That's crazy. I've never had it. I want to I so no, 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 you no, don't. No, you so don't. Scary. It's legitimately scary. I've had that happen like three times in my life. No, it's not fun he at gets all. Gets it every month. Well, it's that's that's insane. I can't. I feel like your head's chopped off. Let me put it. That's probably chopped off. Yeah. It's all good. What um, was that that fell? I don't know. I'll go see. It was so weird. Okay. Something fell, right? I mean, there's nothing on Is the floor. Is it in the bathroom? There's nothing on the floor anywhere. What? It was definitely a fall to the floor. I'm so creeped out right I'm now. I'm creeped out too. That's actually really scary. Is this you guys legitimately heard that. Like, yeah. There's it's something recording. on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing on the floor. I'm not making all right, well. Things that go bump in the night. It's, well, they say 3 a.m. is the witching hour. That's when mm -hmm. ghosts come out into the world. I've seen a lot of scary messed up stuff, so whenever I have a paranormal experience, it's always at 3 in the morning. So anyway, so we're in this haunted Airbnb. There's like weird pictures on the wall. This is the $30 night one? This is the $30 Do night one. Did anyone leave any reviews about possible? Did you leave a review? No. It was so sketchy, and then he doesn't even tell me that he wakes up at 3 a.m. and we proceed to stay there a second night. Same thing happened again. I mean, like, do you wanna finish the story? You can go ahead and finish it. I feel like you. Well, I mean, like, I didn't know any of this until, like, we were, like, checking out. I was like, why did we stay here $30 a night? It was so sketch. We got the hell out of there, people. Yeah, we did. There's no way. We're gonna stay another night. And I was like, but we were so new into our relationship, so we were both like not complaining, like trying to like be positive, like, oh it's an experience and the things you go to go through to get content. That's yeah, the thing. That's true. We got some great stuff there though. Mm -hmm. It was fun. I... 
Yeah, it was fun. It, it taught me though. Okay, scary, you, you need to ser like seriously look into the reviews of your Airbnb yeah. before you yeah. book them. Yeah, for sure. And that's just what that's what, that's what you do. So I'm sure you've had some pretty crazy Airbnb experiences mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Not really. I've been really lucky. My husband though is really haunted. So he did some um, some volunteer work in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. like um, humanitarian type of stuff. He actually went there teaching the people how to grow crops. But anyway, yeah, so they cool. put him into a cabin to sleep, and there was, it was like a wooden cabin in the field. Um, and he went into the house, and he see my husband's been haunted his whole family for a long time, and so he felt like this dark presence. Oh, when you feel it, you're like. Mm. So my husband is not oh my the God, type. I like have my popcorn. He's not the type to make stuff up. He's very serious and very like. He's not like a drama whore like me. Like he's not gonna look for attention. Where you know I love attention. So what? So he t he called me the next day. He's like Nick, something really bad happened, and he was crying. And he said I'm so scared. I don't know how to tell him to move me. And I said well what happened? He said I woke up into, into the middle of the night, and I had this sense of my grandmother. And all of a sudden, all the doors and windows shut. Oh my goodness. They all shut. What? Like, look, what? I have goosebumps. I am telling you. Oh my truth. gosh. <laughs> like, he does not lie about this stuff. And everything shut, and the lights went off, and he's laying in bed. That's crazy. And he's like, and he has the sense of his grandmother, but like something's bad happening. That is insane. All of a sudden, his feet get pulled. <gasps> no. And he's holding on to the, the, bed, the bed frame. No. I, I told him it's, he wasn't even getting paid. It was a volunteer thing. He, he was doing it to be like nice. And I was like, Orlin, they at least have to move you. And he didn't even want to do that. Cause he was like, oh no, I don't want to offend their culture. Maybe they put me here for a reason. You know, he's that type of guy who's like really like non-invasive and whatever, non-problematic. And he was crying to me. He's like, it was so scary. I kept sensing my grandmother and everything, all the doors and windows shut. And I held onto my bed frame and my legs were being pulled like, and you couldn't see anything. It, it was, the room was dark. Yeah, I had and it was sure. wooden. What so did he do? He just stayed. He just he just stayed. Yeah, he was there for do? like three weeks. There's no way I would be so gone. Yeah. That's so scary. That Everyone's so scary. gonna be like, Nick's making it up. Nick's a liar. You guys? No. Nope. I have no re. I listen. My my life is nice and crazy. Thank God that I can get. Lots of fun stories for you that I don't have to make stuff up. And especially when it comes to him, he's very, like, s serious. Yeah. Um, he, no. I do have one ghost story. There was a house I was living in, and I... Took, I love how we're talking about ghost stories. I this. took a selfie in the mirror, but my door to my bedroom was cracked open. It was, like, dark outside. And I, like, like posted it or something like that, and somebody screenshotted it, and they were like, who's that standing in your doorway? And I was like... Ew, whatever oh and then i pulled it up i was like it looks like there was an old man standing there i was like what the did it actually look bleep? like it yes do you still have the photo i'd have to look it was it was a couple years so, ago so crazy like, story no for me way. i actually um i went to ohio and filmed for a white castle challenge and my uber no. driver actually was huh? telling me i'll cook i'll probably be seriously i know they're so good this cereal is amazing Oh, I didn't try this. Oh, you haven't tried this? This is the show? Nutter Butter. I've never had before. It's amazing. All right. My battery. Oh, my God. Avalanche. <sighs> Nick, I, I still don't feel it. That's the thing. Nick. Not at all? Like a little bit, but I'm not like, woo-woo. You need to get woo. We need to get woo-woo. Yeah, yeah, like woo-woo. Jesus, away from me. This is, this, is, this is fantastic, babe. It's amazing. Do you want to have a crunch? Why don't you just grab that one, too? Okay. Cheers, little sloths. I love how you call them sloths. It's so endearing. Hey, it's actually really cool. Well, and then I had to tell them how I got attacked by one. Yeah. I'm like the only person on earth to get attacked by the slowest animal on earth. Like that is just it doesn't really matter unlucky. It, I mean, slow can be deadly. Okay. Yeah. I oh that was such a bad. Day. I had PTSD for months, and then I finally was like, I can't keep kiwi anymore. We have to get rid of it. Oh, kiwi. Kiwi. Oh. Yeah. Keep me the sloth. Yeah. I don't think I could get rid of an animal. I don't think I could do it. I definitely could. I, I started to feel. I started to question whether um, it was right for me to have her because she's not a traditional pet. Yeah. You know, so had it been a dog or a cat, that's one thing. But I think someone something so exotic. I was like, I think this is a, a warning, a little sign to me that this is not made to be in my house. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what does need what what does need to be in your house is some ranch dressing. 
Because ranch is amazing. Ranch size. Ranch size. Ranch size. It's ranch rise. Ranch rise. Ranch rise at people. Ranch rise. I don't have something to do something. Oh, cool. Oh, will you dip them for me? Dip. Hmm? I gotta dip it for you? you dip, I dip. You should have gotten two of them, right? I know. Well, no, there is two. Here. Is there? Oh, that's sweet and sour sauce. Oh, should have asked for two. What's your stance on sweet and sour sauce? Do you like it? It's okay. <clears throat> it's just okay. Sweet and sour sauce is amazing. Your voice ranch went up better. like five octaves. Well, and, I mean, it needs to whenever you it talk about it. I think ranch is way better. Let's try it. Eric's ranch is amazing. I got a pickle. Mm. I love pickles. Pickles is about to belong on anything. I love pickles. Eric does not like pickles. I'd rather eat pickles. But he likes pickles. I, I love eat, pickles. I'd rather eat pickles than olives. <laughs> I like the sweet and sour better. Olives are so tiny. I like pickles so big. Yes. Mm. Yes, I agree. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I agree. Did you see what McDonald's did on April Fool's Day? That they they launched a pickle burger in Australia. Really? It made so many people upset. Well, April Fool's Day is like okay, either you go hard and you make a really really cool prank and a really funny joke and offend a bunch of people, or you just don't go hard at all. And you you just, have to offend people on April Fool's. You have to offend people. That's the part. Oh, of, that's the part no of it. Pickles. You know. There's you no pickles. I ate them. There. Oh, so he no. can have some. Um, she found the pickle. So good. She's good at hunting those down. <laughs> you actually are. She no. gets all the pickles. Everyone on the block. <laughs> Lined <Hey>. up. <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, we were talking about pickles, no, something. Well, the fact that people go too hard on April Fools. Oh, yeah. No, there's no such thing as going too hard on April so Fools. So you think that you for sure like nothing off limits? Unless you're hurting the child. Well, Justin Bieber just apparently made a pregnancy joke on April Fools, and that was that. Was Justin bad. Bieber did. Yeah, he did a pregnancy thing. And so what? Everyone does. Well, that's what. That's well, what. So did we. So did we. It's like we're not like we're you know we're considerate you know I don't I don't know. I had the worst April Fools joke. So what did you what do? What happened? And I told the story and everyone complained because I shouldn't have been looking at my phone while driving. But my excuse was I used it for my GPS. Because you know how I was telling you I just moved and I don't know where I'm going. Right. So I forgot to say in the video that I used my phone as a GPS, like that on the window. Mm -hmm. But I had said, oh, I'm just going down the block. So they figured I wasn't using the GPS to go down the block because it's like, who uses G GPS to go down the block? But I, I, I forgot to tell them, oh, no, I do use it to go down the block because I don't know where I'm going because I just moved in. So anyways, I had the GPS on and obviously... You're looking at it while you're driving. Right. And I got a text from one of my friends, she's a YouTuber, and she said, did you mean to post your nudes on your story? And I literally was, pu I was literally pulling in to, the, um, to merge onto a four lane, and I almost got hit by a car, because I was like <gasps> And, I, and, obviously, and obviously, you know when you get a text preview, it comes down, you have to press it yeah. in yeah. order to see the full message. So I pressed it, and I missed it, and I keep pressing, and I'm looking at the thing, I'm like, and the car behind me is like beep beep, and I almost got hit because I was so taken aback by. And then you click the message, and then there's all this space, and at the bottom it says, "Happy April Fool's." Oh, oh my so gosh! I mean, I would freak out if somebody texted me. I would be that. so upset. I was so scared. I'm like, babe, you don't take nudes. I do. And <laughs> well, I, I was do very, too. I was very afraid that or someone. What do you think? Huh? I'm sure you think I don't take nudes. Oh, Babe, oh. I know your passcode. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is super good. So, yeah. That's crazy. And yes, you guys, I know it's my fault. I shouldn't have been looking at my phone. I wasn't trying to blame her. Because I guess the way I said the story, I was like mm. blaming her. And I wasn't blaming her. I was just saying she did it. <laughs> but I know. But I shouldn't, still, have, she, she I shouldn't have opened the text. But that was so alarming. I had to just open it. So At that point, you have to. What's the worst prank ever played on you? That was one worse for me. Well, I wouldn't say a prank, but I used to get locked in my- I used to be afraid of the dark as a kid. My sister would just lock me in the room. Oh. <laughs> They're just laughing at me. I'm so like, rude. no! Your sister yeah, was, sounds mean. Yeah, it was, I love her now. We're, we're, we're old. And, she like threw your head through a wall too, right? Yeah, she threw my head through a wall. That's why I have like severe memory problems now. <laughs> what? How, how, how much older is she than you? Oh, she's like five years older than me. But like she legitimately like tossed me off. Like as a kid, we were fighting. She grabbed me by the shoulders and threw me over the bed, and I just landed straight into the wall. And you just hear boom, and my head's through the wall. It was nuts. You know, so you're laughing about this. I would not be laughing. Oh, I, I wasn't. Laughing either. I wasn't. I was like, this was a great fond memory. Well, it's like 
you, you take it, you always take it too far with the sibling. I remember when we were, um, we were laughing at each other or something like that, and then we started like just, I wrestled with my siblings a lot, and then I wrestled my, like we were wrestling. Did you get in trouble for wrestling? The no, 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 no. Like, well, we were wrestling together, and I just you like. You only had sisters. Well, my sisters were tough, but I went, my, I went too far, and my top tooth went straight into her nose. Oh, no. Straight into her nose, and she still Morgan? has, yeah, she still has a mark today. She's always the market. Oh my god. It's crazy. But you do what you gotta do. It's called tough love for a reason, alright, people? Alright? I grew up with like all sisters. Hmm. And Me we, too. we, all we were not sisters. allowed to act like them. Mm. There were four of us. So you had sisters? You had sisters? I had sisters. I have an older brother, but Oh, you had a brother. But my he would get in trouble if he even looked at us wrong. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Anyone wearing on any napkins? Napkin would be awesome. Um, uh, guys, I got dirty all the time. If I could, yeah, if you guys knew you. the amount of crap I've had on my hands, on my face. Oh man, you wouldn't. Oh, we've been through a lot today. These past 48 hours, we've had massive burgers, massive fries, massive milkshakes. Mm -hmm. We've had in and out we've had more burgers and fries. I'm so proud of you for how good you did <sighs> for that challenge. You guys did really good. Those are really good. Well, yeah, I'm very like, proud. Thank you. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already thinking about what our next one's going to be. Yeah? You really got to do that. In this Florida before. or in San Diego? Maybe well, I'll come to San Diego. In Florida. In Florida? Well, Let's either or. Either or. Well, we got to do, there's like a giant kitchen sink challenge where it's like, 20 scoops of ice cream, you probably wouldn't like it because you don't like pizza. Oh yeah, I can't, no, I can't do that. There's a lot of pizza ones though. I like pizza. But, you know, do you get heartburn from too much pizza? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No? I well, do. she does. I don't ever get heartburn. Really? Even from the ramen, mm -hmm. the ramen has to take like tums. Well, when you're eating the ramen that you are, yeah. this man is a savage. He's eating like the hottest ramen in the world, like it's nothing. He's like, mm, I'm good. No, it's because I had all the cheese. I hate you haven't seen some of my, like the nuclear one where it's just straight up the pouches. Oh, I'm crying, I'm farting, my face turns red. I'm literally crying. No, 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 I do not take it like a champ. To me, I mean, you. to me you do, because I would be, I'd be crying. Do and you like, take it like a champ? I do, and I usually don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you totally set us up for that, I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little, I'm a little bitch, let me tell, let me tell you guys right now. You're a little bitch. What? I'm a little oh, bitch. He's a little bitch. You can't take it. I no, can't. No, you can't take it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was mean. Oh, so you guys use toys in your relationship? <laughs> um, so uh, this is not about a cereal right now. It's absolutely delicious. Not so nutritious. Mmm, iced tea. I'm so, did you talk about this, Nick? It's super good, right? <laughs> I forget already. We're, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's actually super good. He loves. I asked him in the store, "Do you like peanut butter?" Yes, you'll love the cereal. Um, oh yeah, oh good. Exactly, how many of you guys have eaten dry cereal before and just been like, okay, that's that's a better way to eat that. That's how you're supposed to, that's how I do Ooh. it on Saturday mornings. No milk, just cereal in a box. Well, do my mom bought the box. want to buy this? You can have it. Well, I have this. My thing with Big Macs is the fact that it has pickle, pickle I sauce. I took all the pickles off. oh. Well, the actual we Max bread has pickles in it. So it's like infused mm. with pickles, but that's fine. Does, you know? does it taste pickly to you? I can taste pickles from a mile away. Damn. And no pickles offense to you guys best. out there that love pickles, but I just don't like pickles. Pickles are the best. It's cool. You guys have your taste buds. I pickles. And it's fine. You like that it? dill though. <laughs> <laughs> dill though. Oh! 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 oh, oh. You get it. Oh! You. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 I thought you literally just said that. Dildo. I'm thinking like, why is she what? saying that? It's so funny because people don't get it until they hear it like four times. I, oh my, I said oh, it in one of our oh. videos, <laughs> and he looked at me, and I was like, "But dildo," and he was, he was like, "Do not hear yourself Dill. right now." I was like, "Not dildo." <laughs> I had to say it like four times for her to get it. It's oh like, my on, god! I didn't get it until we watched like watched the video, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> Context, okay. Oh, Lay's just god. released. That was so. Yeah, they just released dill pickle chips, and that's yeah. what we reviewed on the electrics. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, but that dill though." <laughs> and did you get it right away? Or <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah. yeah, it was so. Did you want to have a fork over there? Because I want it like. No, let me give me. No, let's just do hands. I'm sorry, I didn't. Guys, um. 
Oh, we really did. I eat. There's a pork. Babe, get your hand out of the salad. Well, I, I, like, they have probably haven't seen this before. Do you want more? So, um, oh yeah, for sure, in a second. Um, I eat food like a savage on my channel once a week usually, and this is usually how I do it. With fries, you can do this too. Basically, you crumple it all up to get it down fast, and the faster the better. And you just like. This is what I live with. Babe, that's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, babe. She was just telling me how like, oh Nick, I like to watch you eat. I'm like, well Eric eats I too. Love She's like, Eric, I'm like, Eric eats too. She's like, yeah, but it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. When Nick eats, it's just like my I'm mouth happy. just like salivates. She said it's like arousing. Didn't you say that? I did not say arousing. I thought I heard arousing. Oh. You kind of do. You do it you pretty around. You turn me on to food. Oh my god! Well, that's for sure. You <laughs> this is why the views are high. Shit. It's I didn't even. Do you guys get aroused to me? Oh my god. <laughs> some people like. They're into that stuff, man. Like it's just the way it is, and that's fine. I was telling them some of you, not all of you, and a lot of you watching this won't even believe it because you don't read the comments. But there's some people out there who want to see me bigger. They're like, can you please get bigger? Have you done your measurements and like taken like track my of waist? It? No, yeah. I don't care. No. When people ask me, like, how, how many inches are out of it now? I'm like, I don't know. Why do you care? But Hey, how many pictures of your shoes? <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Like, people have asked me, if, like I told you earlier, for used socks and, like, cycling socks. And, like, I have my bibs that I wear for my rides. And they're like, if The you, bibs, that's if like you, the underwear. Yeah, if you send us your bibs used, we'll bibs. give you, like, 350 bucks. Is it called bucks. bibs? Like, bibs? Yeah, like, bibs. It's like a, a wrestling singlet. People have asked me for my shoes. Your shoes? Ooh. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. But, like, why, dude? Why? Because it's you. That's why. Oh, what if I? Because it's a YouTuber that they enjoy and admire and love to watch. Like, like, there must be a YouTuber that, like, if I got their shoes, I'd be like, Ooh, but I can't really think of anyone right now. What's the, have you been ever asked for something like that before? What? Have you ever been asked for, like, your clothing? Your clothing or your no. toothbrush? No, I've been asked for pictures all the time, but I haven't been asked for, like, what's the weirdest toothbrush? Request? What? What's the weirdest request you've ever gotten asked? Um, oh, someone said, can you please reach 500 pounds? So that Ooh. to me was weird. I don't know. That's like, super weird. That I don't know weird. if that's the weirdest. I'd be like, you, dude, you try to reach 500 pounds and see how you, you feel. I have to do a mukbang every day and I'm gaining like, you know, 20 a year. Like, like I gained real fast. I went from like 150 to like 210. And then for the past two years, I've gone from 210 to 250. So it's like 20 pounds in these past two Oh, years. but it's, it's not their body, so they're totally like, just do whatever. You know, oh, they want me bigger, yeah. It's so, like, like, what? You. Yeah, I don't know. People call me fat all the time, so it's just like, whatever. Oh, well. Yeah. It's the world we live in. You can't please everybody. No. I'm still laughing about that dildo thing. <laughs> That dildo. That dildo. Because dough, D-O. Like, that dildo. Like, no, like, T-H-O. Like, that, that dildo. dildo. But it sounds like, like dough. But it sounds like dough. That deal though. I'm just thinking about the ghost we have in here. <laughs> like, what the heck? That was weird. That was so weird. In case the camera wasn't rolling, I walked over there. No, it was totally rolling. It was rolling. Oh. There's nothing on the floor. No. Besides the shoes, which they had taken off. I'll show you. Proof. There's nothing on the floor. But it's so crazy. What? And they can see it, you know. Well, I mean... You know, they they have they have ghosts of Disney, so I mean it would make sense. Maybe oh my follow gosh! Us they followed you us here. Your conspiracy theories. You guys, like, tell them what you think. Okay, Disney is crazy. All right, so there's an actual underground chamber underneath Disney. There's there's secret tunnels. That's where actual that's where Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen. People don't know this. And why would he want to be frozen? Because he requested to be frozen, from what I understand. I, I you, know, you guys are down below, probably correcting me now. And Disneyland was his favorite place. Disneyland was his, was, it was his favorite place. So he was frozen, and now he's down there. And they, they don't want anybody to find the bodies. And um, there's just a bunch of threads online about it, and I'm like fully convinced that there's. Babe, do you do you believe in any, any uh, conspiracy theories? I don't think we actually landed on the moon. I oh really? I don't believe that. Oh, at that's all. a good one. I've seen those. Uh, got the wind blowing. The, the, yeah. What do you yeah. think? I don't know. Huh? What do you think? About that? Yeah. Oh, I, I... It doesn't make a difference I don't if we see did why right. they would... See, I'm more likely to believe conspiracy theories when there's like a clear motive. I don't know about like the flat earth thing. How would that change anything yeah. in our lives? It's I flat, totally it's square, it's round. There's no motive to keep, to go to that extent yeah. to keep it secret. Yeah, no, I agree. Cool. Yeah, one leg in, one leg out. Oh, did you just, well, yours went off too. Did you hear that? My beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. 
<laughs> um, sorry, I had to turn the camera on. I just said usually when if there's a motive as to, you know, a reason for why we have to. Keep why do you think Elvis Presley was killed off? You know, things like that. Marilyn Monroe, Michael well, Jackson. Well, he was killed off for a reason. I think Marilyn Monroe was totally murdered. F uh, F uh, JFK. JFK. I'm like F F F JFK. Those, you know, I, I think have more merit because there's more probable there's cause. There's politics involved. Uh, and 9-11 too, you know, you don't... That's I'm the not, first I'd ever heard of that today. You didn't know that there was no. a villain that fell down that didn't get touched by anything? No. It's crazy. It's just like the stuff... Number you, seven. Yeah. Got touched by nothing. I'm not talking about the first one. I'm talking about the third one. Yeah. That went down by itself completely. And apparently like that... Can, An office trash can fire caused it. The building to fall. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm telling you it's that video. Crazy that they have it's like it you hear like a faint boom and you wouldn't hear that from anything else because the plane's already crashed into it so it's like it's it makes you think you know it really does make you think yeah you can watch those little videos on youtube and see what you think but have you seen the videos of the smoke where it's like a devil's face in it yeah that's, that's so, so crazy. have you seen the videos of the um the money being folded yeah yeah you know, that's gnarly i think so yeah. that's creepy that makes you really think you're like like that they're bragging about it and their money they changed their money like a year after it happened and when you fold up the money, it shows step by step it being hit, burning, falling. It's like the, the Illuminati letting us know, rubbing it in our faces, look what we accomplished. We got away with, you know? Who knows? There's a lot of stuff we don't know about. I, so, you know, stuff like when people benefited from tragedy, when people benefited from s silencing others, that's when I think it's more believable for some of these conspiracies to have some merit. Yeah. The things about the earth being flat, I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference. Same with like the moon landing. I understand like at the yeah, point they I were mean, trying to be in like the arms race, but. Who benefits from it? What nobody. if it's a slinky? I mean, who cares? Yeah. Like it doesn't affect anything. No. I, mean, if, I can't think of it. Maybe it does. What know. if the world, out, like what if the actual universe, like say our planet was so, like what if we did have a flat earth? And what if the inner, like what if the universe was so like chaotic and like, like something that the government didn't want us to know, like it was like a black, infinite black hole, and like mm. there was nothing else out there. What if they just didn't want us to know about it? Maybe some governments could. They prove don't want us to like, panic. Like we we talk about this a lot. We actually can't go past a certain point in south south um, the South Pole because they don't want us to know, to go back there. Antarctica. Antarctica, yeah, or something oh. like that. And that's crazy. Like why right. Area Fifty One? Oh, yeah, yeah. All basically. these places on Earth that are super. You know, it makes you think. It makes you think. Like yeah. what's going on, people? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I think it's because they just don't thanks, like Thanks, Shane. Panic. Thanks, Shane. You're the reason why I will. Do you, do you watch his conspiracies? Shane Dawson? I think so. Is that who we <clears throat> always watch our conspiracy uh -huh. theories? We like Shane. We like Shane a lot. Shane's the man. Um, All time favorite fast food fry. What's your favorite? Not McDonald's, not Burger King. Wendy's. Not Wendy's. <gasps> what? No, fast food. Long John Silver's. Really? Oh. I've never, I don't know if I've ever had Or Popeyes, fries. cause it's very seasoned. Let me tell you all, he's not only the king, he has his expertise in so many different he fields, knows. he knows the best fast food fries. He just said Long John Silver's is his favorite. And I can tell you exactly why. <laughs> Although I would say Five Guys. So five Guys is up there, I think it's like number three or two. Number three or two? Yeah, no, I think- No, they're number one. Arby's is good because it's well I seasoned. Like I like the curly ones. Uh. Popeyes are nice cause they're, they're very heavily seasoned. Red Robin, that's not really fast food. Um, yeah, I would say definitely Long John Silver's for me. Wow. I would it's never It's so that. greasy. It's not even like a french fry. It's like a deep fried something. It's so <laughs> greasy and the perfect amount of texture. I mean, oh, I want some right now. I was so not expecting that. Like oh, if you get yeah. them, and, don't, and not cold either. They have to be like right at, as soon as you get them. They're the best. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's another. I love fried seafood so much. You've never had. I've done one sauce. fried seafood challenge before in my life, and it was like amazing. It's delicious. I love fried seafood. It's just so expensive. It's it. It is expensive. Yeah, that Long John Silver's like $50. the Cheesecake Factory challenge wrecked me. <laughs> you guys, he spent a couple hundred dollars on that video. Yeah. You know what? When you buy, when you gotta buy every cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory, you do what you gotta do. I don't know if I've spent that much on a video. Some of my most expensive videos have been Heart Attack Grill. Oh, I because I love because the burger was thirty, and then I bought. Um, a wine in an IV bag, <laughs> and that was like forty. And then I got the milkshake and the flat liner fries. It was about like a hundred dollars. Um, the closest to that, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I always spend a hundred dollars at Cheesecake Factory because you buy three things. Yeah, so it's a hundred dollars. 
Um, but they want some of my seafood. Oh yeah, the seafood. King crab legs. Like if you do like ten king crab legs, that's like two hundred dollars. Oh jeez. That's I only do it once a month. So. <laughs> Um, the big things are the buffets, where you can get. You say you, we're, we're going to go to Vegas. I'm super excited about that because we're going to I buffet. love Vegas. Vegas. I, I can live there. Thirty-five dollars. Get into a buffet. Maybe mm. fifty bucks. You just kill it. Well, you I'm, kill it. I've been kicked out of like two buffets before. Because they're like you've had way too much. To You're eating yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. What do they say to but you? But yeah, it's so it's weird because like certain buffets will be like okay, like they'll start looking at me, and when I start noticing the looks, I'm like. They're watching the way you're eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they'll charge you extra if you have extra on your plate. Like if I get a, um, a sushi roll and I leave a grain of rice, they'll charge me for that. Oh, you know, they do that in uh, Asia. Yeah. Why? Some of the buffets, they don't want you to have any food waste. So they say anything left on your plate, they charge for. Really? It's like $2 or something. So it's just because they don't want you over serving. They want you to eat what you're going to eat. Take what you'll eat. And that's good. That but is good. Don't kick me out of your restaurant. Well, babe, it. you're a competitive eater, so. Yeah, that's I like, the, like that's actually. Kind of she's like, I wouldn't want you in my restaurant. <laughs> I mean, I. Some, well, actually. Unless you tip really good. Have you been to Soup Plantation before? They call them sweet tomatoes. Soup Plantation? Soup Plantation. Calls, oh. yeah, it's like a. All entire. Like, they have, they have soups, salads, like mac and cheese, like everything. It's basically like a hometown buffet. Have you been mm. hometown buffet before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's basically the same thing, but I used oh. to go there and train and do like their salad bar, and I'd, I'd stack like 16 plates. Like just straight up high, and I'd watch people like just. It was funny to have people walk by and be like, "Is this guy really eating like twenty pounds of salad right now?" Oh, it was super cool. It's one of those things. I was just like, "Hell yeah, dude!" <laughs> yeah, um, I got a bunch of plates stacked when I went to that um, conveyor belt. Video. Yeah, the sushi one. But each little conveyor belt would have like an ingredient for the soup, so it'd be like a piece of mushroom, a piece of noodle. You know, so you could easily stack them up. But yeah, that's interesting. <sighs> How was your day? Good. How was your? Did you guys have your lunches? We've had a blast. I definitely. Till everything relaxes, and we're ready to go. See? Talking yeah, we're not talking about weed. We're talking about dill. <laughs> it's actually like interesting because there's so there's so many misconceptions out there about like cannabis and weed. I feel like people, if they actually educated themselves on you know responsible usage of cannabis and people the, fear what they just don't know. Exactly. Yep, exactly. That's why these people are like, no, gays, no. They're going to make the whole, the world gay, you know? And then they educate themselves on, this is how you're born. It's biologically proven. You see it in every other animal in the animal kingdom. It's clearly been around since Leonardo da Vinci was gay. Mm -hmm. Leonardo, uh, uh, Shakespeare Michael, too, wasn't he? Make, uh, yeah, Michelangelo, Brahms was bisexual. I mean, since the earliest of humanity, like this is just, and so people educate themselves mm -hmm. and then the views change. I think the same thing's going to happen with weed. Well, it's been happening, but it needs to happen faster. We just watched a documentary about Northern California. Yeah. And the like, everyone's people like people fear what they don't know. Yeah, and they it's need like to learn. Some of my actual like my smartest friends in high school were all huge stoners. They had like the best grades. My valedictorian and the salutatorian were both big potheads. Really? Yeah. Big potheads. That's crazy. That's crazy. I know. I can call them out by name right now, but I'm not going to. But I. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember your valedictorian? Oh heck no. And I know their first and last names. I can picture them. I honestly can't remember either. I was a dumb kid in school. I wish I was those people. Oh, oh. babe, you were dumb. Oh, I'm, I'm still pretty dumb, babe. No, you're not. She's just being nice. She calls me stupid all the time. No, I don't. And, she, and then she... Uh, we have a very loving relationship. I was, well, I make fun of you for your food choices. She does make fun of me. She puts ketchup on everything. I you, love ketchup. You, just don't be that person. Don't put ketchup on everything you eat. All right. Oh, look, I'm going to have a taco. Let's put ketchup on it. Put it on. Oh, look, I'm going to have mac and cheese. No. Let's put ketchup on, on it. On the cereal? Yeah, go ahead. No. What? Do it. Let's do it. I'm going to throw up. Here we go. I'm going to throw up. Here we go. go. Do some ketchup. Oh, and you want me to spray yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oops, am I missing? No, Did I get all of you? Right. Peanut butter and ketchup. People are gonna be like, this nasty hoe. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. Let me try. How weird is she? I'm sure it's not that bad. It's not it really bad. takes a lot to make food taste bad, yeah. let's be real. It'd be good on that rice. Whoa. Oh yeah, I had dog food like two days ago. I did, I made him try our dog food. No, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. Dog food? Yeah. Oh, that's well, no. my, that I bought, like, I bought this new no. dog food and my dog goes crazy no. for it like crack. Okay. No. And I was like, all right, I gotta try this. No. So I took a couple and I tried it. No. no. And then later I I gave it to Eric. I was like, just try it. 
No. But I was like, it basically that, tastes like an unseasoned cracker. That, I've eaten tons of crap in my life. But yeah. the, when the moment I realized I ate dog food, I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've eaten 13 pound burgers. I've eaten giant five pound donuts. This thing was nuts. I was like, I just ate dog food, man. And you did it. Like, I didn't even have a force feed you. I just like, was like, here, try this. Would you try it? Uh, you've never tried your cat food? Uh, <laughs> what? Just try it. I try my dog's treats. Am I the only one that's like, what the fuck right now? No, what I totally do. It's just called dog food. Are you, yeah. are you guys playing a joke on me? Because I'm serious. Cool. I feel like the time that I took laughing gas and <laughs> and I had to put, they put on my face so I could take my cavity out. Remember my right. feet? So yeah. they, because I wanted to do like full anesthesia. So mm -hmm. anesthesia, I mean, <laughs> anesthesia. <laughs> anesthesia. I wasn't going to go under, right? Like the whole body. So I just did local and I'm like, no, that's not enough. Do laughing gas. And so to help make sure I was laughing and out of it in the head, they started saying, the, there's two doctors laying over me, the surgeons. They started like, making all these jokes. And I realized subconsciously, I'm like, you guys are trying to make me laugh. And they're like, yes, we are. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I still remember to this day. And then I didn't feel the pain when they, so I feel like you guys are pulling a trick on me. No, you do not eat not your damn cat food. We don't. We, I we, we have I'm a dog. you if you eat your cat food. <laughs> what? You never, you've never tried it once. Nick, Nick. No, I have not. <laughs> the king of mukbangs gets hungry, okay? <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so you need to try your cat food. Because why? Well, just try and be like, dude, I tried cat food. So here's the thing: I like, am I gonna get paid for this? <laughs> my Are you do a cat food payment? Would you guys watch a cat food mukbang? If you pay me. Okay, so <laughs> my dog's treats is like literally peanut butter, something like three ingredients, and I'm like, all right, that sounds like a cookie to me. And she loves them, so I just like take like a little tiny bite and I try it. Did you gonna try it in this next video? You guys need to let me know down below if you want to see that. Yeah, let them know below. I I just don't. What? I can't. I bet you it'd be like tuna fish. Think about it this way. <laughs> I don't even like tuna fish. Think about it this way. You can dip anything. Just put co peanut butter all over it, and it'll taste amazing. I are we talking about the same thing butter? now? Tuna, fish, put tuna peanut bit? butter in your fish. <laughs> Like what are we talking? Are we talking about the same thing? I'm just happy about it. Is this code word or something? <laughs> Would you guys try peanut butter? Just just got pranked the last five minutes. Well, speaking of peanut butter, this this cereal is amazing. This cereal. What do you is think about so the cereal, Nick? It is okay. What? It's just okay. Yeah, you know, I'm not really into sweet stuff. Oh, that's true. It has well, a lot of sugar. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Shut up. <sighs> Here we go. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, just. Shh. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> been together probably nine months now. That's probably the third time I've ever heard him fart. Really? Because that's what it's because I'm guys, like, if you knew how much I fart on a daily basis. But you've only heard him three are times. Are they just silent? I just keep him away from you. We live together. I don't want him to smoke. So you fart. relax your asshole in the presence of me? <laughs> It's so I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be 100 100 100 honest with you right now. My farts smell terrible. They are they wake me up in the middle of the night. I kid you not. I don't smell anything right now, but I'm really afraid. My farts smell so bad. Even Eric, I what? Even Eric, I don't want to smell this. Is it coming this way? Even as a kid, I'm afraid. Just breathe right now. No, you're fine. It's not gonna be too bad. Maybe in like two minutes you'll know. Does it take that long to get out? Jeez, how my, tight are your I don't, I don't know why my farts smell bad, but they oh do. Oh my god. Wow. Well, like, hmm. it'll be Let's like 2 o'clock in the morning, here. and I like, I like smell something, and it wakes me out of my deep sleep, and I'm like, and Eric looks so peaceful, I'm like, you mother Oh, and he does it in his sleep. Yeah, in his sleep. I fart pretty bad in my sleep, but so oh do you. Oh my god. I know. She's, she, Everyone does. Why do girls fart differently than guys? Like, girls, they go, I picture them, one, they, they go, <laughs> It's like a clean exit. Guys, it's like. Because <laughs> girls are more stretched, guys are tighter. Ah. Oh. They're used to taking. Well, out some girls. Butt. Well, yeah, maybe that's why. From girls. Does hers? Um. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go answer that, but. I will say. You won't say. She's like, you won't say. Nothing. You won't say. <laughs> so, guys, if you wanna go to my second channel, or third channel, or Electric Talks, um, I talk about. <laughs> You talk about what? Oh, I'm definitely not talking about your that first right time now. over there. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's talk about Eric's first time. No, let's not talk about Eric's first time. Your first time 
I will say that it's actually a really, it's a monumental experience. Um, I actually, whew, that was rough. That's what? <laughs> Tell me. Um, well, the first time that actually all happened and transpired, I don't know if I should tell this on the internet. I mean, <laughs> you can tell me off camera. I'll tell you off yeah, camera. Yeah, tell me off camera. But like, we'll say that. I Let's just, okay, location. First time you ever had sex. In a truck. In a car. In a truck. Really? Three amigos. In a vehicle. Wow. Uh, was it a big car or a small car? Mine was a truck. What kind of truck? For a locomotive. Whose truck? A locomotive. My truck. Oh. A locomotive? Damn. What? Have you ever, have you ever, what about an airplane? You had sex in a locomotive? You had sex in an airplane? <laughs> no, I'm asking you. <laughs> Everyone usually tells me that I look like a stereotypical virgin, so like I don't even know what you guys are saying. <laughs> okay, that's a good question. You're strangest, not allowed to have sex on an airplane. Strangest place you've ever had sex. Oh God. Location. Oh, strangest. Like oddest. No fear. Or like most risky. Obviously, like when the parents are home, like in the parents' house. Mm. Like they're in the next room and we're silent. Quiet about it. That's probably the riskiest. Oh no. Well, oh, yeah, okay. So here's a funny story. So when I uh first like fell in love with Orland stuff, I actually moved into his mom's house. He was living at his mom's house, he like had a room. And so I was living there too, and um, we had just eaten dinner, actually Orlin cooked it for me, and we ate it, and then we went back to the room, and we just were just gonna like relax or whatever. And um, he made me like rice and beans or whatever. Babe, Sorry. seriously, that like spilled all over my butt cheeks. You nasty. He's like Sorry, I'm trying to eat salad and listen to Nick's captivating stuff. Okay, continue. So, I had dinner with Orlin, he made me the food, and then we went back to his room. Well, he decides to give me a blowjob there on the floor, so I'm standing up, <laughs> He's on his knees, and he's just like, you know. <laughs> and then, so I'm facing away from the door, facing the wall. Orland's here on his knees. Oh, no. Doing his bit, doing, going to work. And then all of a sudden, his mom opens the door. <gasps> no. And she, now, I don't speak Spanish, but she started like, Oh, this meal. Dios mio. Dios mio. Oh, this meal. Oh, and then, then Orlin busts out laughing. I'm standing there like, holy my God. And then like Orlin starts laughing. She's laughing. She closes the door and leaves. And I said, Orlin, what happened? She said, are you having to beg for forgiveness for making the food bad? Oh, Like, are you man. having to beg for forgiveness? Did you? Are you asking for like... You know, oh, she said some man. kind of funny joke about why he's on his At least face. she joked about it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's how Latinos are. They're that very, is so they like to laugh and have a good time. Yeah, so she just laughed about it. Where is the weirdest place you've ever had sex? Um. Or like most risky? I would definitely say the truck was probably the most risky. Actually, no, elementary school. But you when were you in, were at, in at, at night, at night, at night. Oh, oh like you were in, yeah. in elementary school. Not, the not in elementary school, though. Don't be monetized. In the today. parking lot, yeah. Yeah, that was for sure probably the craziest place. At night, on like a Saturday night. Huh. So you guys know. Mine was on a battleship where they gave tours. Wow, she, she wins the brownie there. Wow, a battleship? <laughs> Because you were in the Navy, right? My ex was in the Navy. No, I was never in the oh. Navy. Oh. You never told me that. We've never had this conversation. We've been together for like a year and you haven't told me that. <laughs> Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Wow. Ooh, I'm ooh. offended right now, man. We've never had this conversation. Why does it offend you? I'm like, I feel a little taken back. I'm like, I should have known this. Because that it would affect your sex we've had, how? Well, I mean, we've had multiple drunk live streams. We've had multiple drunken conversations. You're just about. shocked that there's something you don't know about her yet. Yes. In these I'm, first eight months. You know oh, what? babe. Oh, come on. I've been together with Orlin for <coughs> six years. I still am learning new things. He'll say something one day. I'll be like, you didn't tell me that. You know, she has a life. She's been married. You're going to learn new things for the next Yeah, you know, years. it's hard. It really is. Like, it has more. Adult married sloths back me up. Has Orlin been married? Was he married? Or no, I'm his first. He's he's young. He's uh, I met him when he was 17, but um, we didn't do anything when I was 17. So. <clears throat> yeah, and then but I I've, I've been engaged. I've had multiple boyfriends. Thank you. But he I was his first everything. Lost virginity to me. Well, gay virginity. Yeah, it's so funny. Orlin's had sex with girls, and I never have. You wow. never had sex with a girl? No. Wow. Honestly, it's pretty much probably the same thing. It's just a but just not as nice because. Well, I mean, it's looser. Depends. It's looser. The tighter, the better. I wouldn't. I, I unless wouldn't. she's virgin. I mean, <laughs> you sound like Brett. Sorry, I'm virgin. sorry. Unless she. Blurred. I mean, that's what I've heard. 
That's what I've heard. It's basically the same idea, a hole, but it's just wider, so it's not as tight. So it doesn't feel as good. I mean, hopefully- Look at her, she's just like- I feel Let's like, change the subject. <laughs> no, I was just, I she was actually, actually- Okay, like, no, hold on, you be like, very careful no, with whatever she's, next sentence. She's very open about sex. She's and open? I, she's never, I've never ever met a girl before as open as Christy about talking about sex. The ex-Mormon, oh, oh! You know, that's what happens snap. when you're like reserved, for like so many years, all of a sudden you bust you out. You bust out of it. You're Boom! Give me. Give you me you can do world. everything. I was gonna say, you do like, everything. You can be pretty tight if you do your kegel muscle exercises. Oh, you do uh, exercises to keep your pussy tight? Damn. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't we had these conversations? Oh, look, that's something number two he has learned about his new girlfriend. You know what, You should be like a therapist, like a couple therapist. I just get it out of you, right? He's gonna quit, quit YouTube and be a couple therapist. Maybe. I just want to know, like, how, what exercises are you doing? They're Kegel exercises. So Keto, you get, Kegel. Ke no, Kegel. Kegel. And Everyone so you is, it, you, you know the girls watching this are right yeah. now opening a new tab. <laughs> Wait, can you spell that? You need, <laughs> it's K-E-G-A-L. It's a Kegel ball. Ke did you hear and that? So it's like, it's a circle and there's a weighted marble in it. And you stick it on up and then your uh, wall, your vaginal wall has to hold it. And so it strengthens the muscles. Can you control squeezing okay. it? Oh yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well we can too. Yeah. Make it go up and down. Yep. See, I knew you could flex your penis. Oh. You can bounce it. What do you mean you knew I could flex my penis? I've never done that in front You've of never you. bounced your penis. Oh, I totally have. Yeah. It's the coolest thing in the world. You're like, hey, I got a skill. I want to just want to show you that right now. <laughs> It was funny. You want to show me your skill, bud? Well, well, last night, <laughs> last night after the. Food I didn't know that. You knew it. Oh, you totally knew that. After the food challenge last night, <gasps> I had a plate sitting on my 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 midsection. I just moved it a little bit, and she's like, "You're totally flexing your penis right now." <laughs> last night. Yeah. While you were here. No. Oh no. Oh, this is back at your apartment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You we'll have plates time. in your hotel. We, we bought, bought awesome. some. Oh, damn. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do when you're in <sighs> Man, yeah, I, I, she, she's been the most open ever about her sex life. I, I, yeah, I know. That's probably because you're a Mormon, yeah. Well, Mormons have a lot of sex. Like, they are I feel like there, there's kids. a lot of taboos, no. and you can't do this, you can't have this, you can't wear this, you can't, that's what I feel like, it's very old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. that's cool, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but dang. They, do they, they know they how to have sex? Well, first of all, they probably don't believe in using concert, 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 concert. contraceptive. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, they're 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 so, I mean, so like, you I'm know, saying, like, imagine that, man. Like, have, and, like, imagine they're not they're, using contraceptive. Com yeah. Can you say contraception? Contraceptives, people. So, obviously, they get less practice, they do less things, because they basically, each time they do it, they have another child. Yep, basically. So, so that's you're, you're like, you're, eight, you're at your eighth one, it's like, boom, it's just straight <laughs> out. It's like, hey, we don't even need to, like, go into labor. It's like, boom. Took eight kids, now I know what I'm doing. Well, okay. That's <laughs> now I have eight kids. Oh, sorry, there's probably people watching this who are Mormon. That, that, that's not true. No, no. We're, we're just love, being fun. We love Mormons. No. Mormons well, my family's awesome. Mormon, so you better love Mormons. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This is crazy because whenever <laughs> I look at, like, I see, like, I've seen so many documentaries about, like, polygamy and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, how could you. That's not affiliated with the Mormon church. They're well, like I'm just saying, job. it's it's generally, yeah. you know, it doesn't need to be, but it's crazy. Like, how, how can you have, like, all those kids and all those wives, that's nuts. Oh, they have multiple wives? I well, know that. Or they're well, able people to. People that practice polygamy, yeah. No, I know what polygamy is, but Mormons are polygamous? I don't think oh, so. no, no, no. no. Oh, I was like, oh. there's, no, there's something a, else there's, missing. There's a branch off of Mormons that are polygamous in oh. Utah. Yeah. Interesting. I'm probably yeah, getting destroyed down TV in the comments below right now. Oh. Yeah, they're like, we need it. You guys, educate us. We're not being hateful. Please educate us in the comments. We, we're just... Well, I have Cheetos all We're basically doing what you do. Mouth. You chit chat with your friends. You might not be speaking the right thing, but this aim is. For, aim for your mouth. Goodness. How is your rice? Is it good? That's yeah. Eric's way of asking if he can have some. You can have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, it's over there. So yeah, I mean, go ahead. It's like, do you want some ketchup on babe, it? Babe, here's the thing you put ketchup on literally. She's like, I don't want ketchup. First of all, I don't want ketchup. Nick, can I ask you a question? Is it ever, is it ever like when you have two conflicting flavor profiles in like one <clears> dish? You just not want to like touch it because like I have peanut butter cereal on this and I'm like um I can understand that you can know you feed me sure do you ever get fed does Orlando ever feed you sometimes uh, I have I have had guys beg this. to feed me really and some of them are even ex I was just talking to this guy it's so funny he's probably watching this hi I'm not gonna say your name so you're not weirded out but well, you should say it. you surely should say it. <laughs> Jesse okay oh snap it's been said Jesse. Oh, Jesse. He, okay, so 
it's so funny how th the world is. So I met him in like a vegan group over 10 years ago. All right, and we we're both vegans and we like knew each other and stuff. I said avocado. Then I lost touch with him. And then all these years goes by and I turn into a mukbang. He messages me when I start first start doing mukbangs. I'm really skinny, you know? He's like, oh, so are you like gonna gain weight and everything? I'm like, oh no, it's temporary. I'm just doing it because I'm, you know, breaking free of veganism and enjoying myself, but it's temporary. Yeah. And then that was it. And then like a couple weeks ago, he liked something of mine. I was like, oh, Jesse? And I go to our conversation. I was like, we talked for the last time two years ago. And I told him it was temporary to do mukbangs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, now look, it's been two and a half years. You're still doing it. I'm still doing it. I'm way bigger than when I started. Mm -hmm. And I messaged him, and I was like, oh my god, the last time we talked, you we were like, I told you how temporary this was, but now look, do you see my channel? He's like, oh yeah, I love your channel. He's like, I've been ho hoping you would get bigger. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? He's like, no, I'm totally in the gainer fetish community. <gasps> oh, really? Snap. And I was like, really? I'm like, I didn't know that. He goes, yeah, I've actually been that way before I even met you. Like, ten, it's been a decade since I've been wow. into the, the feederism, like, uh, gainer community. And if you're into that, that's cool. Yeah, and I was like, really? He's like, yeah, no, totally. Like, I would I would do anything to be able to, like, feel your stomach so and pet it and, like, like, slap it. And I was Whoa. like, dude, like, oh my god, because he's gay too. So I was oh, like, okay. how does Hubs feel about that? Doesn't care. Orland said that's kind of hot. <laughs> there you go. There Orland's you go. like, okay. I think he gets turned on by the fact that people like, like, like want you, like want me, because I'm like an average guy, not like that attractive. But now that I have followers, all of a sudden it's like, I, yeah, I might be a five out of ten, but now it's like, well, now he's an eight out of ten because he's famous. Yeah. Like more people are willing to like flirt with me just because I am who I am, mm -hmm. not because I'm like a model, because I'm not a model or anything. So Orlin kind of like gets turned on by it. He's like, oh wow. He's like, people want my hubby, ooh. Yeah, he kind of gets turned on by it. Well, yeah. that's actually kind of cool. I mean, at least he's not like pissed off. Oh no, he'll like look at my phone and be like, ooh. <laughs> he'll be like, whoa. Like he likes it. Like he, he can go through my, he has my password. He can look at anything. Oh, same way. He, he sees all the messages people tell me. People I have just... sent me nudes. People have sent me like everything. He doesn't. He doesn't even bring it up. Like, the amount of messages she gets, I'm like, mm, you can deal with that however you want. I have a bunch of 14 year old kids that are like, oh, I'm gonna just grow up you right now. 14. Yeah, yeah all 14 year old kids. I'm like, block, block. <laughs> Do you know what I found out? Like my favorite feature on Instagram is block. Block. Block delete. Block delete. My phone keeps I hope nothing's that cool. They need to make it easier to block people. It's too much of a process for me. I block like you have to go to the page, page, click the little arrow, and click block. Yep, it's like too much work. Just well, same, on, same, same on YouTube, you have to go to their page. They're like, are you sure you want to block this person? It's like, yes. yes. They literally posted like four derogatory, racist, homophobic slurs against this person. I want yeah, to block them. them. Why do you need to ask me four times if I want to block them? You know, on YouTube, even if you block people, they can reply to already existing yep. comments and they still show up. Yep. They yep. only get blocked. Oh shit, now they're not going to. Nick, edit <laughs> <laughs> like the people who really want to get to me. edit this. Yeah, here, I go like this. Stop! I go like this, so I'm like, oh shit, I really need to pay attention. Yeah, I blocked like the same four person on our, our second channel, The Electrics, like four times. And he still shows up over and over again. Yeah, oh, you know, I've I've had people make Nick a cut off cut with the same face. Yep. And mine has a check, theirs doesn't, and people, some people don't realize that. So I see them respond to other people, like same. really mean things and like, Racist Someone said that Can you report him? You can. You can, but matter. then they make another account. Guys, I've Nick seen is an amazing person. Okay, uh -huh. he's not gonna say anything stupid or derogatory. He's one of the most down earth people you ever yeah. met in your life. Well, I can be he's really super cool. I, well, thank you, but I am really extra. But I'm not gonna be racist. That's for sure. I will never be that way, and I'm not gonna spend my time on. So YouTube. if you guys see some stupid comments, it's not him. Yeah, and same with Orlin. People have made accounts Orlin home. And people think it's him, they're like, hi Orlin, and someone else reply and be like, oh my god, Orlin, it's you. And then Orlin reply and be like, shut up, you boo 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 boo. And I'll be like, horrible. I'll be like, I'm seeing this now, day hey guys, later. just be like, nice people. That's not him, don't think that's him. And, just girl like, would be, and someone would reply and be like, wow, that was that really necessary? I actually like you. I'm like, that's not him. It's not him. Just be a good person in this world. I just like can't believe how dark YouTube can be. Yeah, I know. Like it blows my mind. Yeah, good idea. Is that your phone going on? You're a popular person, Nick, so no, you know what? Probably just boring. Leave us peasants to do whatever we want. You know, we're peasants and we're just gonna Babe, you've here. dropped so much food on my Babe, blood. let's hijack let's hijack his channel really quick for like three minutes. Okay. Uh so we want to talk yeah, about. I don't know what do you want to talk about. I don't know, but this food is super good. 
You're looking really hot tonight. <laughs> I look. Huh? Babe, look at all the. Crumbs. Oh, you look hot too. Don't worry. I was wondering. Are you talking to me? What? Your shirt. Babe, I have a lot of crumbs, but that's fine. You have like food like in your jean pockets. What's up, guys? How's it going? Eric Electric. Oh, it's a stupid quiet. My name is actually Christy Higgs. Christy. It's sure to be Christy, Christy Lampkin. Why did you just tell them? That cut, that actually got cut off, so. Well, I'm just kidding. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life you, with you um, when you're uh, anyway, I'm just saying, my name is actually Christy. Nick will be at our wedding, so. Am I gonna play violin as you walk down the aisle? Mm -hmm. Can I'll you play the violin? It's my major. Oh my god, that was hey, my job. Okay, so you're a band geek. I'm a you were a computer geek. I was a drama geek. Really? I play World of Warcraft. So you can act? I was the president of the drama club. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I never mm -hmm. did that. I did that music. Did you ever play an instrument? Um, the skin flute. He's amazing at the <laughs> No, I don't play this game flute. That's a joke. Um, I play guitar. That's why his name is Eric the Electric, because he played the electric. That's why everybody asked like, why my name's Eric the Electric. Or he made those skin flutes electrified. No one gets that joke. No one gets that joke. They don't know what the skin flute is. I don't know. They're like, oh, it's a I dick. No, it's a dick. It's a penis. It's a male genitalia. Jeez. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Just I feel like that was a rather bold statement for me to say I was a joke, first of all. Um, oh my god. No, I play the guitar. Hi, Orlin. I played. I played, the, <laughs> I, I played the recorder. You ever played the recorder? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played the piano. Me too, a little bit. Really? I'm not That's good awesome. at all. My mom forced me to take piano lessons for years. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Those mm. Mormon households. Yeah. I was. It was like <sighs> default. You cook. You know how to play the piano. <laughs> like. Is that the Mormon way? Make bread. Yeah. You make bread. <laughs> Aww. Recipe swaps. <laughs> I mean, and, we, and we all played the piano. I've had so much fun in the past 24 hours, Nick. And Thank you. Yeah, it's been a blast getting to know you. I'm scheming our next challenge. Like, I just in really Florida. think. In Florida. In Florida, or if you come back, or if you want to drive up again in two weeks when I come back here. Hell yeah. You're um, coming back after Hawaii? Yeah, for like five days. What are you gonna do? Eat. <laughs> so I got a round trip ticket from um, Florida to here. It's a three week ticket. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of this, I'm going to. Well, not Why? Say, well they'll probably have seen it by now, so. Yeah, why? Uh, for my anniversary for like five, six days, and then I come back here again, so. Is it come very... down to San Diego, let's go to the zoo. Yeah. No, because yeah. I'm like meeting people, like oh. every other, you know. Um, We're not cool enough. We're not no, cool it's enough, not that. It's just like every day I'm like seeing collab. And He's then... a very, you know, a lot of people want to collab with Nick. No, it's not that. I just. But I'm hitting up a lot of people all at once because I don't know when I'll be here again. Seriously though, like this is probably the coolest club I've ever had. Really? Yeah. I yeah. keep saying that. I'm like alive. it's super sick. We got to go to Disney. We got to go do a food challenge. We talked to, talked about a lot of funny things in the car. Oh, we definitely did. <laughs> no, it's it's cool because Florida Florida has a lot of seafood challenges and Florida has a lot of um, burger challenges. Mm. We like burger challenges. I love burger challenges. That burger challenge is seafood. Cool. I mean. Man, that must be an expensive challenge, especially if it's like crabs or. Lobster. Well, I I don't do food challenges unless if you finish it, you get it free. Okay, and you always finish. Well, you um, always finish. Well, you're more inclined to finish. I've done over pay hundreds of dollars. Over two hundred restaurant yeah. challenges. I've I've only failed three. Three? Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. Three out of two hundred. So I mean. Two hundred. Yeah, I get. I got. And look how skinny he is. After um, two hundred Right now, I probably ate about ten thousand calories today, so I'm not so skinny, but it's totally fine. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna start doing we contemplated the feeder gainer thing. So like when <laughs> I'm past thirty, she's just gonna start feeding me through a funnel. <laughs> no way. Basically just like fruit that, punch. Well, mm. What? No, I was gonna say not all feed see, I looked into this. I'm like, what is this really? community? So I started to be more about and I asked my friend, I'm like, so can you tell me like so it's got it's guys who get turned on and watch another he's like we like to see the stomach grow. We like have you heard of like bears? Like gay men who are overweight, they're called bears. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -mm. This is an educational time. Yes, it is. To learn about the gay community. Bears? Bears. bears. Um, I follow a few. Here's one. Oh, so it's man. like, it's like chubby guys who are gay. And they like, they like, <laughs> they like show off their bellies. That mustache, And man. what happens, like, people submit their photo photos and everyone follows them. So this is like a compilation of, and I didn't submit, but I'm about to be like, okay. Oh, those are all different guys. These are all different people. They all look from this, all From all around the world. They're like posting the same person over and over again. I know, they all look the same, but they're not. Oh, really? Yeah. 
They're all different people. Oh, he has oh a hairy gosh. chest. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bear. It means like you're overweight and hairy. Like you're some little cereal villain. So, being in this gainer, like, chubby community, it's not about like funnel feeding. That's like, I think, to the extreme end. I, th I see it like politics. Like, you know, you're Democrat. But not all the Democrats think the same. Some are like really, really, really no different. here. Some are more here, some are over here. There's still Democrats. There's still, you know, overweight guys, but some are into like the funnel. And, but that's the minority. Most are just like, we'd like to eat food and. Yeah. So, so about the feeder gainer, you looked into it and you realized that it's. That's not me. I've never, I don't get turned on by like funnel feeding. And I don't want to be that big. I like being chubby, but I don't want to be that big. Yeah, there's a certain point where it's like you're not definitely gonna get help. No. And these guys aren't just like they can't walk. They're just thick. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not like you can't walk. These actually right. look like average Americans to me. Yeah. For the most part, yeah. Or just like, you know, a guy that likes to eat, but not like he's Why like Why don't you submit? I'm about to actually. Do it. Send him a get send up send it right now. Get all new followers. Yeah, do it. Now some right of them are just like, Woo, that is big, you know, but all different types. Yeah. Send them your bus selfie. Here's another one I follow. But they also have like skinny guys too. But these are all just random people that submit. To, they probably don't have pages like this for straight. You're gonna get featured right away. You know what you are too. I know people are like, is that him? Holy shit, it's him. Yeah. Well, I mean, we like, know wow. what Nick's doing after we. are like, wow, Nick follows some interesting Instagram accounts. You guys, I follow eight thousand people, so really. Yeah, I I just think where I used to follow everyone. But it just got too much because it kept going big. So now I would have to follow the channel. You know what? I remember watching one of your videos and seeing that and going, oh man. I Nick's promised to follow everyone and I did, but then I'm like, okay, now I can't. It's so it. overwhelming. You're like, dude, this is crazy. You no, know, and then people follow you. You follow them and then they unfollow and you don't realize for a month. And yeah. it's like all that time I spent following people, half of them all unfollowed. And it's just a waste, a big waste of hours. You know? And you're just trying to be nice and follow people. Yeah, people were just doing it to be like dicks. Like, ooh, Nigga Kyle follows me. I don't even follow him. Wow. I'm so like popular, you know. <laughs> and you can kind of follow, you know, like these kids doing this shit. So I don't, I don't follow people anymore unless I actually like them or I want to follow them. Well, I feel so privileged to have that on my on my followers list. I was like, oh my gosh, the king is following me. The I, king of. I've been homes. following you for a long time. Yeah, that's why I was like super like, oh my gosh, <laughs> because you both pretty much started. You actually have, you always had more than me, but it's totally cool because it's just a number. Like for me, when I see like the, the subscriber count. Our views are very similar though. Like in terms of individual videos. But it's, bad, it's sad because we talked about this earlier. Like people only, they look at the subscriber count. That's all people will see. Yeah. And that's really not the Or the point. social blade, which I hate. Social blade is garbage. It's not true. I showed him how much I make and he literally thought it was fake. I'm like, this is all I made. He's like, what? He said, I didn't even know it went that low. So I hope you guys know I'm not lying if I ever, because sometimes I tell them, you guys, my CPM sucks. And people are like, oh, you're just doing it because you want people to like donate to you. It's like, no, I'm just letting people know I'm not a millionaire. I'm not even half a millionaire. Like I'm not what I should be for how many views I have. So ask him, ask B Love's Life. You are so Ask hard. Steph, ask uh, I showed Prissy P. They've all seen how much I make and they, they are all like, wow. That's you work so hard. They're like, I feel so bad for you. So. You know, I'm about to get a second job as a stripper, so. Oh, you know what? You would make. What's your name. stripper name gonna be? It's gonna be Matthew Cashew. I like Matthew Cashew. Here we are, Matthew, Matthew Cashew, Cashew coming out on the floor. Ooh. <laughs> you ever been to a strip club? No. No, me neither. Well, I mean, to, I've been to gay you bars. You haven't? I've been to gay bars where you know, a go-go dancer or flash yeah, dancer. Yeah. So then the underwear and they're dancing on the box, whatever. You like tip your tip and they're on the way, but I've never been to like a strip club. I've been kicked out of a couple strip clubs. For watching or for doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sorry, I don't mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying for watching or doing. What do you mean doing? Uh, I mean, are you, were you the No, I was the, not the employee. The I was not the employee. Okay. <laughs> she does have big movies, but they're uh, awesome movies, so she could be up on the, on the dance I was floor. not an employee when I got kicked out. <laughs> so what did you get kicked out? Yeah, what happened? She's looking down at these things. She's like, she's I like, should oh, not have said anything. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, me and my good friend, we were 
more entertaining than the actual strippers. Oh. And um, the were you like dancing and stuff? Yeah, the strippers oh. did not like that. You know, we got slang. kicked out. Yeah, they got kicked out because oh, you're taking away their business. Exactly. You started making more tips than they did. I I did make some tips. And really? I kind of borrowed because I took pole dancing lessons, so I can pole dance. Oh, so you can like pole dance. Well, yeah, she's really strong. I can see you doing that. Even so, yeah. Anyway, that looks like a lot of work. Yeah. It's a great ab workout. Yeah. I highly recommend pole dancing for an ab workout. It's really hard. See. I told her. I said when I'm retired from mothballs, I actually care about how I look. I'm gonna hire her. She's gonna give me a fitness plan, a yes. diet plan. Girl, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get so sexy. Yeah. You guys are gonna be like, wow, that was underneath the whole time? Wow. I'm so excited. You just you let know? me know. You hit me up. And then to celebrate my new body, I'm gonna go pole dance and do a show. $200 a ticket. $200 a serious too. $200 a ticket. I will flip on poles for you. When, when I'm skinny. Snake. When I'm skinny. You can do it now. <laughs> I, I can't. I have no muscle. There's no way I can hold myself up. I can bench like 50 pounds. Shit. What? I mean, probably. I, I mean, I have no muscle. This is all chill. You could bench more than 50 pounds. I'm pretty sure you can bench more than 50 pounds. Maybe. You're strong. Maybe. Are you one of those guys in the gym that's like... But the, the bar is 45, right? The bar is mm -hmm. 45. You put... I guarantee you could do 225. No. You no. one of those guys in the gym that just like looks like, I don't know if I'll do good. <laughs> You're just like killing it. Sorry, You're just that missing me in the back of the head, yeah. No, 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 no. No, because I remember when I was vegan, I was like 160 or 170, and I could never bench more than how much I weighed. But that's when you were vegan. You can, I was you vegan. You can bench though. more than me, though. Can, you know what's so yeah. sad? I had a, a personal trainer, a dietitian. I was vegan. Well, I was vegan for five years, but my last year before I quit, I had a dietitian. I went to a vegan gym. I went to the gym six days a week. They got me on the protein shakes. I looked the same from the first week to like a year later. I was so committed. Well, that was probably not the best diet plan then. I was eating the best vegan diet. Beans, tofu, protein. I, I, they gave me protein powder, put in my uh, peanut butter, banana milkshakes. They, I ate lots of avocados and healthy fats. I looked the same. So I was so, so pissed. And I could barely do a pull up after a year. Jeez. I hope and then when I stop being vegan, you're like, you didn't do it right. I'm like, I, I smashed five potatoes in a sitting. I ate so many calories. Not all about the potatoes and you can say that again? <laughs> it's just water weight. It's just water weight, thank it's you. Water weight. It's just water weight. Why do you have to get deep? It's right? just <sighs> I yeah, we are a health and fitness channel. We, we ate that entire box. Oh shoot. It's Holy delicious. crap, we ate this entire box. Nice going, babe. Babe, it's delicious cereal. I told him not to get it. It's not that many calories. Well, you did help. I only had like two bites. I'm like, a, I'm like I know. A I'm very aware that I probably ate the other half of that box. <laughs> you know what? So, how many calories in a box? A thousand? Like 2,000. Two? 2,500. Really? Well, you know what? When you're with the legend, you just you enjoy you enjoy. You can't life. stop. Calories don't you exist. Can't you stop. eat with the king. If you're because you just you're know gonna, it's water weight. Yeah, exactly. And if it's you're going to eat with the king, you better eat like a king. Oh yeah. So are you going to go up to the Hollywood sign and do all that? You should. Mm. You should have a mukbang in front of the Hollywood sign. I like I'm waiting for my star. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been there before. My first time in LA, I went there with um, Wendy's Eating Show. I think I mm -hmm. talked about her earlier. Yeah. I went with her, we just like walked around and filmed it and, yeah, I don't know if I need to go It's there honestly again. not that big of a deal. You walk there, you look at the stars, you say, well, that's not me, and then you walk home. I mean, and it's like, okay, I mean, I don't even know half the people of the stars. They were like before my time, and they're famous actresses who are like in their 80s are now. Are you talking about the Walk of Fame? Are you talking oh. about the Hollywood sign? West Hollywood. You're talking about West Hollywood. I've never been to West Hollywood. The stars on the sidewalk? I've never been. West Hollywood. I've never been. Okay, so you were thinking of something else. I've seen them, the Hollywood, Hollywood sign. Oh, okay. Where it's like a big hike up to you it. You did ask me about the the, the stars, right? Yeah, stars on West I'm Hollywood. Okay, I'm not, I'm, oh. I'm not like crazy right now. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> no. Like, what am I talking about? Yeah, when you go to West Hollywood, it's kind of just like... Yeah, whatever. Isn't it kind of dirty? Not really. It's kind of just like it's like a its own little city. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a, its own little like Las, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. I love Las Vegas. Oh, we'll be there next. week. I can't live in LA, but no, I feel like I could live weeks. in Las. Oh, in two weeks. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Heart attack, real baby. I feel like I could live there. I just enjoy myself every time I go, and it's like a miniature LA. 
with less pollution and just it's smaller only 1 million people this city and is a sick. lot more prostitutes yeah i mean i didn't do any of that stuff when i went like i didn't go into bars and clubs and sure I, I've never sex drank, parties or... hey i've never drank in vegas ever really i drank I once vegas. really a little bit really never you never have, vegas. oh i've gotten destroyed in vegas <laughs> are you the type to go to a casino Oh no, I don't get Oh yeah, I mean, I got so upset, I gambled for the first time at the Ellen DeGeneres machine. I gave that bitch $50, I walked away with nothing. I'm like, this was not fun. You don't put any skill in it, you have no say. You put your money in, you press a button, and you say bye bye. You watch your money get eaten. I don't, I just pressed the button. That's it. Goodbye. It was Thanks. not fun. It, I was in yeah. anxiety, and I still to this day want my $50 back. <laughs> That's not like the slot machines, you just. Put the quarters in, you just uh, like, and then you just go like this, for your, and then you're done. We'll be spending that fifty dollars in the buffet. Bye bye, money. I'd buffet. much rather spend it on food than gamble. Well, well yeah, it's awesome. a real experience. You can get frozen hot chocolate at the Serendipity, and it's like a frozen like little like goblet of hot chocolate. It's super cool. I've been to the actual place where they filmed that movie Serendipity in New York City. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. it was cool. Not I'm to sure one up you, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, just like, one up. <laughs> Look at you. Are you still hungry? Oh, I'm starving. And you're seriously starving? I'm we'll finished this. Um, this is why I don't do cheat days. Well, um, I'm, this was a big cheat day for me. Yeah. I film one mukbang a day, which is still a lot for a human body, but I mean, I do like three today. Mm -hmm. The you busy really one. The yeah. One, two, and three. You're, you're, you're dedicated to your channel. That's why I tell everybody it's like, that's that's what being a YouTuber is all about, giving your audience what they want to want to see. And that's all about yeah. food. I'm happy now. Would you move to uh, Las Vegas? The the housing is actually really cheap there. Whoa. Very affordable housing. They have no state tax. Um, it's very diverse. I'm really attracted to Latinos, so I like to look at people there. Yeah. There's a lot of Latinos in Oh, yeah. Las Vegas. All up from Mexico. Well, I would fit right in then. You look more like Latinx too? Oh, you mean would fit in? I would fit in. Oh, I thought you were like... People think she looks either Hispanic or Native American. No. Yeah. Native really, American. all of my siblings are Hispanic. blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, Hispanic. I don't look like anyone in my family. Oh. Um, maybe you were adopted like me. I, do you know what? My mailman was an Indian, like a Native American growing up, so... I give my mom a little. Your mailman? Yeah, oh, mailman child. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Well, what did you do with the mailman? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, a mail that's man. interesting for sure. Well, it's crazy because I think we actually we ran out of food. Yeah, I know. Except for this, which is from earlier, but wow. I want it, yeah. That's everything. Pretty much everything. We got. We didn't get that much. We got a burger, a salad, and four. This is probably the coolest Friday night I've ever I've had in a long, 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 long time. Oh my ever. gosh, stop it. No. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> you got, you, when you, Nick's like, this is not the coolest one I've ever when you, had. When you come to San Diego, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have a good time for sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I like to drink. I like to. Oh, well, we And I like to talk. I like to do stuff. I'm not boring. We're going to go to the gas lamp, and it's literally just all bars. You can just have a good time downtown San Diego. It's super cool. Nice. So he you, hasn't even taken me there yet. But I guess it's and I'm, he's there. already inviting me. I know. I feel, and you, you've been with him for almost a year. I feel a little. Well, you know, you didn't tell me certain things earlier. And, and he took you to a thirty-dollar hotel, girl. I know. Right? You need to question. You have to this, make me sound terrible. Right you need to right? question this relationship. Gosh, man. <laughs> Although after that Airbnb, I was like, Eric, can I see before you book next time? Like, let me look at it. <laughs> I'll be like, what? Yeah. So we fix that. I mean, I've been, people are gonna be like, Nick, how dare you? You've been so cheap to Orlando. I mean. Why was cheap? Because I had to be cheap, okay. I am like the cheapest state. Like my favorite restaurant, it costs us fifteen dollars. It's Taco Taco. We get the exact same thing. It's Taco Taco. Taco Taco. Taco Taco. So That's nice. Our favorite place yeah, to say it twice. Yeah. Taco Taco is amazing. I'm a really cheap date in oh, that's good. But Are you cheap? Date? That's actually no, I shouldn't be making fun of you. Or then well, see we were both like really, really, really poor. But when we were in Guatemala, we stayed like two dollar night hotels. Oh, they had bed bugs, they had spiders Ooh. in the walls, they had no windows. It was like living in a cell. Ooh. But we had no locks on the door. We had two little arms and we tied it with a string so people wouldn't come in at night. Jeez. We had to take a shit in the middle of the lobby and a hole in the ground. No. And a hole. No. A hole in the ground. And people could just like see you? Well, if they peeked, it was like there's like a it was like um like laundry sheets. But like you, did you like ha like did you guys just have to take turns? Or was it there like multiple holes in the ground? No, it was for everyone. Like we were like trying to live on two dollars a day. This was really rough, but 
That's insane. Yeah, and we didn't shower for like two weeks, three weeks. We lived in it. So our our hotel had so many bed bugs. We got eaten alive. <gasps> And luckily we had a tent with us, so we put the mattress up against the wall because we couldn't afford to go somewhere else. And we put the tent up in the room and we slept in the tent. This was Guatemala, the air was still. It was like 90 degrees, I couldn't sleep, I was sweating. So we basically slept in our underwear. And then the chinchas, that's what they're called, would come out from the mattress, crawl down the mattress across the floor at what are night. What chinchas, what are they? Little bed bugs. <laughs> and they would climb up the tent and come through the air vent and so we'd wake up at 2 in the morning be like, I feel really itchy. I feel like something dropped on my face. And we turn on the flashlight and up above us in the air vents are all these bugs like trying to come in. And they're getting in and dropping on our faces as we sleep. So no sleep that night or were you just- like, We had to be there for a month, two wow. months. It Why was, were you there? It's a long story. We were going to do like a, an, um, a work exchange and a Mexican Airbnb. And the lady turned out to be totally psycho and just really- messed up i mean that is so many stories so we're like well we're really poor we have a round trip ticket we i wasn't really talking to my parents back then i didn't ask them for help so Orton's like let's take a bus to guatemala we'll wait it out for two months it's cheaper than mexico and then we'll just take a bus back to mexico for yeah. our flight home and so we went to guatemala to survive and we have lots you of stories do what you gotta do wow lots of stories there that's crazy we saw an exorcism at the the fruit market behind a tomato oh stand oh my gosh tell us about that he had like a cross and he, he was going like this and the lady was just like, like this on the, and the he was, she was in a patch of tomatoes and he was saying stuff in Spanish. They're very uh, Catholic over there. And there's all these people around. Oh, I saw, uh, um, I was vegan back then. So I remember crying seeing this, but we were walking down the market and there was a live cow and they were hacking at it like to kill it. But they're just like hacking off pieces as oh it was live gosh. and blood that was flying sick. out. And I was like, Wow, I mean, oh my god, and no one even flinched. This was their way of life. Yeah um, so I saw a homeless man's big big massive dick I, We were in a tuk-tuk coming home <laughs> Tuk-tuk is like a little <laughs> It's like a um, it's like a motorcycle with like a back. It looks like okay. a like those Indian little cars yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. we were in the tuk-tuk. It was 50 cents to go from here to here And we had to go across the city and we're at a stoplight and there's like well, maybe he wasn't homeless Maybe he just looked homeless, I don't know. But he had no shirt on and like he pulled down his pants and like he had this big erection and he just started peeing everywhere. Psst. That sounds like Eric on a hey, you know, drug watch it. And I'm just like, do you see what I'm seeing? He's like, yeah, I see. And we're both like, whoa. And then we, and then the tuk tuk goes and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. We saw so many funny things there, so many. And it really brought me and Orland closer together because when you experience crazy things like mm -hmm. that as a couple, I mean, I can't even speak the, the language, so I had to put 100% trust into this person to take care of me. Yeah. And to negotiate like fruit market deals, to pay for a hotel, do the money, everything. And it really brought us to together as a couple, even though the, the time was so crazy. Mm -hmm. I had a bat fly in my face. I mean, I, I, there were so many stories there. So many. I've never done anything crazy like that ever. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, we're going to get crazy soon. We're going to go to these different places. I want to go and I want to experience all that. That's nuts. I mean, you can go by yourself. I'm good. You bring by the stories. Just we're going. Good by. luck. <laughs> good luck. I'm not going. You don't speak Spanish. Cool. Oh, wait, you do speak Spanish. Si. Mm. Pero, uh, Poquito. Pero muy, 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 muy mal. Oh, yo sí. estoy muy uh, muy gringo. Sí, también. También. Ya. Yeah. Uh, espero que es muy mal porque I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just I'm bad Something because why? why? Yeah. Uh, yo yo estoy gringo. <laughs> okay. Because I'm a white boy. <laughs> they hear one word and like well, it's we like already know. Well, like I used to work customer service and I'd sell stuff and I'd like they were disgusting by the way when they're cold. Oh. Ugh. Oh yeah, they kind of are. So he eats it anyway. He's like, mmm. I love McDonald's fries. Ew. Really? Ew. They're the worst. You can't say they're the worst because they, <coughs> they invented all the other fries. Everybody else copied them. No, I disagree. Uh, but Who? what do you? McDonald's. They people copied theirs. Yeah, like McDonald's has the ultimate crispy. Not maybe not now, but look at their consistency. They have they have the ultimate shoestring fry. You have the ultimate salt. Um, covering of every morsel of the fry and then you have crispiness maybe not now of course yeah 
and it's just it, you can stuff as much in your mouth as you want. It's <coughs> okay, like okay. It's like okay, right? Are you okay. <coughs> Nasty ass French fry down my throat. It's okay, like right out of the fryer, but. I still think Arby's is better. I still Arby's think Five Guys is better. I still think Long John Silver's is way better. I've never been like, I'm not crazy about them. No. What's your favorite dessert to get at a fast food restaurant? I hate dessert, I never get it. Oh yeah, that's right, you don't like sugar. No. You're so weird, you don't like sugar? No. I know, so what kind of mukbanger am I? It's so weird. Like I look like a, a boy in a cake factory, right? And like, I don't eat the cake. I eat the ramen. So. There you go, fair enough. Uh, rum is good too. Rum is good. I'd have to say the Reese's peanut butter cup um, uh, pie from Old well, Burger King. <laughs> that one, I think. And then um, they have a Hershey's pie. I know that's absolutely amazing. It's so good. Ooh. And then Jack in the Box is an Oreo shake. It's so good. I'm gonna say I really like um, McFlurries or like Dairy Queen. Uh, Dairy Queen is okay. Dairy Queen's okay. Or Blizzards are good. <clears throat> is there any water or something over there? We have a cream soda. Yeah, can I have like ice? Just, we just drink out You drink out of here? Yeah, go for it. Do it. Ah, much better. See, ooh, sugar. No. Oh, I just sugar. I just want water. I'm craving water. Oh, there's no sugar in that. It's just, it's all, uh, it's all. Stevia. Aspartame. Oh, aspartame. People think those, that still gives you cancer, so. Yeah, no sugar. No sugar. Oh. You're good. You are Gucci. That's how we say you are Gucci. Everyone thinks I'm such a D-bag for saying Gucci. You kind of are. Gucci. <laughs> it's all Gucci, baby. I can't believe we ate this whole box of cereal. We? You mean you two. I had one pie of that nasty stuff. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Most people probably get, agree with you. I'm in the minority. Most people. I mean, I I like cereal growing up, but I like the um the plain checks. Oh, yes. Or, like cereal. Or I really like Special K. Special K is really good. Delicious. Most cereals are good. There's not really any I bad I like all the plain cereals. stuff. Fruity cereals is terrible. No, I like fruit. Like, you don't like me, Fruit Loops? No. Fruit Loops are terrible. Mm, I like Fruit Loops. Mm. So you didn't like that Fruity Pebbles milkshake from the Big D's? So I like that because it was sugar after our 10 pound burger challenge. I liked eating it then because sugar after like that much was salt. Was it really a 10 pound burger? Yeah. Well, it's 10 pound with all the, the fries and oh, the sugar. Gotcha. That was a 10 pound meal. Yeah. So you eat 10 pounds of salt. Actually, that wasn't a 10 pound burger. I know, that would be a heavy burger. I've eaten 10 pound burgers before. Well, we did it our very first date was a food challenge and the burger was like five pounds. I can imagine five or ten. <coughs> ten would be from like here to the ceiling. Like do you know I'm imagining a ten pound dumbbell like Yeah. Yeah I've done it my, my biggest one was thirteen pounds and it was bigger than me. It was over my head. Okay it would have to be because ten pounds is actually really heavy. Oh that was that was terrible. Habanero patties. Ooh. Ooh. The chef was like looking at me as I ate it and when I got to the habanero patty I like looked at him because he knew I didn't like spice and he just looks at me and he goes Yep, he had the habanero. Oh, yes, he did. He got the habanero and he was just like waiting for me. I'm like, you mother. You got me. You got me. <laughs> but I actually named that after myself because it's my last name is Lampkin. I called it the Lampkinator. The Lampkinator? Yeah, so everyone that tries to do the challenge now has to defeat the Lampkinator. And you get to leave your legacy on the top. You get to leave a new layer for the next person to try to eat it. So I left a half chicken so like no one's going to eat that thing. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. So, Nobody's beating that record. I accept Molly. Molly will probably beat it. Have you? Could you pretty much set records everywhere you go? No. No. I wish I did. Those beans take so Cause, cool. Because you would have actually eaten it too. I know. If it's in front of you, you won't stop. Yeah. You'll just be like. It's mm, so true. Mm, it's so mm. true. Like just like Aaron picking up that. You know what? Like, you're not even hungry. You just. Today's my cheat day. Get my arm out of this. Today's situation. my. Do you want something? Hey. Sorry. I'm full. Today's my cheat day. Every Ooh. day's your cheat day. But no, he has che cheat day once a week. I cheat day every day. Well, it's like, I don't like calling things, you're not a dog. Stop saying cheat day. Cheat. So do you like wake up every day and are you like excited to eat? Not as soon as I wake up. Usually I wake up and my eyes are like very salty. I look like this, I have a good leg. So I have to take a cold shower, eat some spinach and lemon juice, have a little coffee, drink some water, wait a few hours to the bloating to go down. I like, get more sucked back. And then I start getting hungry. I'm like, okay, yeah, now it's time to eat. Yeah, but not when I, as soon as I wake up. Yeah, we don't we do not do that either. I, I fast for like... Oh no, I wake up for breakfast. Oh, she wakes up for breakfast. I, I eat the next day at like six or seven. Sometimes I have some fish soup. Fish, fish soup. soup? 
<laughs> it right. really, really helps with. Did you share that with your the cat? The water weight? No. <laughs> <laughs> this girl and my cat. Listen, I can't. She wants to know all about I the cat. I just, I, I can't even. <laughs> She wants I to want to know. Cat. I don't eat my cat's food. I swear. Do I look you like I eat? I mean, like try it. <laughs> just, just, just disgusting. You might like it. You might like it. Cat uh, food. I mean, just. <laughs> it's probably just gonna taste like tuna fish. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious. Anyway, fish soup. What is fish soup? So it has like salmon and chopped up into little cubes, and it's cooked in like a um, an avocado oil broth with um, onions, garlic. Um, cilantro, tomatoes, um, maybe a little coconut milk, and like fresh chilies chopped up. Do you make that yourself? No, Orlin does it for me. Oh. Hmm. So like I'll wake up, I'll have some water, I'll drink a lot of water. That's good. I think like a gallon a day. Good, And good. then he'll come in like maybe an hour later as I'm like waking up, checking email. It's like, okay, here's your thing. And I also have like steamed greens, like a lot of steamed greens. Then I, then I have my morning shit. And then all of a sudden I start oh, shrinking. It's all good. I, sh I like little. shrink in my face. I start the water weight's going down. I'm like, oh, it's time to eat. I get actually hungry, so I get really excited to film. That's good. Yeah, you know, I rarely have to like shove in like, oh, I'm not hungry, but I have to film. You know, I, that's rare for me. I I just have an appetite every day. Yeah, same for me. I'm always. Yeah, me too. I'm always hungry. And that must be hard because you actually like try to eat really healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we eat like straight up vegetables and. How do you go meat. to sleep hungry? That's my biggest thing. I I'm do, not full. I can't sleep. I do um, apple cider vinegar. I'll what drink that, and it like totally curbs my appetite. Really? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But does it last or is it temporary? No. So I'll do like a shot of it in like a 16 ounce hot water with cinnamon and stevia so it tastes like apple cider but with a bite and the 16 ounce of water drinking that plus the apple cider vinegar my stomach feels full because that's like a pound of water yeah i've never gotten full from stomach. water if anything it makes me hungrier oh really oh, because it's not substance it. yeah i know everyone says just drink water that's never worked for me yeah i eat all my my food before i go to sleep i eat like my four thousand. that's the best yeah before i, go to sleep. That's the I best, don't yeah. i don't like waking up with that food fog though so I'd like try to be done eating by like eight. She's gotta take her selfies when she gets up. Get I know I gotta take my selfies. Get that booty up. Mm -hmm. You know it's gotta be perfect. And, it, and let me just tell you, babe, it's perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh okay. it is. Ding, ding. It's perfect. She does a lot of those um, squats. I do a lot of squats. Squats. Not really squats, more like the hip thrusts. The hip thrusts, <laughs> and she just she she's got legs. She's got legs. all the ones that go like open, open. Oh, you the, push back. The bad girls. Right? You, like you sit down and you yeah. push your legs open? I haven't done those in a while. I'll have to I did all those machines. One when you lay down and curl backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done one where you sit down and push your legs up to do this calf. No, I was this so is your, committed. This is your quad. Nick, you got your calf. Nick, I, need, I need to ask you a question though. I need to ask you a question. So I shave my legs. Yeah. And what do you think yeah, about... Oh, you, you noticed? No, I saw your Instagram where you said, should oh. I shave my legs? Oh. He legit will come out of the shower and he'll be standing at the kitchen and I'm like, Eric, what did you do to your like? He has a stream of blood I'm not running down his leg. I'm like, dude, what? are you like a 13 year old but girl? More to the point, what do you think about dudes that shave their legs? I notice you don't have shaved legs. No. And a lot of people call. Me, I'm not. I'm not homosexual, but people call me gay all the time because I shave my legs. That's just guys being stupid. Really. And the the guys who say that are probably like. Oh, I thought you meant kids. the guys who shave are stupid. <laughs> no, oh, the stupid. people who think shaved legs has kidding. to do with what you're attracted to. Like what? No, there's so many people that shave legs. Do you do it because you bike? Yeah, I'm a cyclist. Bike, most cyclists. Yeah. So yeah. if you if you get in a, a, I mean, those are people who are really into like trying swimming. to beat every little second, like yeah, really competitive. Like, well, it's actually five seconds faster. Like the body hair might have slowed yeah. down. It's kind of for that, but also if you get in a, a wreck and you like, I've had road rash before, while all my entire leg has been scarred up. Mm -hmm. If your hair doesn't get in the wound, it's better for them to clean it. Mm. So Fuck. yeah, yeah, it's gross. I would probably shave if I did that. But you don't like you just kind of just like in different tones, just with whatever you know. I mean, I don't care. But you don't like. I don't know. I, I don't know why people call me gay because I shave my legs. So oh, you're asking me if I think someone is that gay more of a is that a feminine thing to do? No, honestly, my first mind goes to sports, just because I was friends with a lot of cyclists. Oh, okay. um, I was into like. I kind of think of like the, like surfers because I mean, like he grew up a beach boy. Um, wouldn't the hair more. like putting on like the wetsuit? Wouldn't it make it like it would like be more uncomfortable having I don't know. like hairy legs? Because I mean, like this is where he stops caring. Yeah, I'm white. Even all the way up. All the way up. It's all it's all white. 
No, no. the hair. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, the hair too. All the way up? What? All the way up? up. This is where we stop caring? What? The, the, okay, okay. Oh, no, I shave mine. everywhere. Oh, my hair is, I'm, <laughs> I'm I only hair I have is on my on my armpits. That's, that's it. not showing your thighs. Oh my thighs. Thighs and armpits. That's all he has. Yep, that's you it. You shave your ass crack. Yep, I shave my butt crack. Oh yeah. Wow. Shaving my butt crack for the first time was the craziest thing ever. I started that you guys right Are now. Are you being serious? Yeah. Right what? Now? How would you not know? You can obviously tell. Well, I've never actually. I have a shaved butt crack. crack. So he's being funny. Yes, right I, now. You never like. Right no. now you have a shaved butt crack. <laughs> I have a shaved butt crack right now. <laughs> hey, I shaved it right before we I'm left. I'm totally checking this when we get back to the hotel. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> You're kidding. Do you guys want to see this? You really should. Okay, alright. You all right, all right. So, as a cyclist, okay, your, your <gasps> anus is making contact with the seat for three hours. You better have that pristine or you're getting sore. I can just see him in the shower. <laughs> I do. Opening up. So, I get my. Get my you my probably razor. use like Nair or something. No, I just get my straight razor and I put a little cream, this a little bit of rum in it. I look at the, I inspect, and if I got hair, then we know we've made contact. And if we can continue to make mirror. contact, no, no mirrors. I'm good. Have you I ever tried like the the shaving the what's it called? Veet. I never tried that before. Or no. Nair. It's the I know. Babe, on babe, you, I'll wax it for you. If I don't want my my anus to be waxed. Ouch. No, the around it. You don't grow out hair out of your Holy anus. Guys, 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 listen, listen. Stop. That's the air conditioner. <laughs> it was good. I was one of those where I was like, it was like, oh, oh I'm gonna get it out. gonna fart again. No, it's cool. I, they probably really want me to fart again, but I'm not going to. Yeah, it was. I really could, good. but I'm not going to. I was like, yes, do it. This is this would be like a giant crop dust right now if I farted. A what? A crop dust. Like crop. Oh. I'm telling you, you do not want to smell those things. Yeah, I don't want to smell the crop dust, please. Yeah, sorry guys. Not today. Eating. It's just they're animals. not eating. When you eat, like they're done. It's been an hour. Yeah, they're, they're, they're done. done. They're just they're just watching and laughing. <laughs> I bet you they're not even watching anymore. They're like, oh, um, I have some, I have some viewers. They will watch it to the last second. Really? Oh, a couple hundred of them. At so least. like they watch every second. If you put like a like a super cool informative thing about like what's gonna happen next week in the end end part of the video, you'll say it at the very end so those people will know. But everybody else that clicked off, they're not gonna know because you said at the very end. You wait. I'm collabing with Trisha Paytas next week, and you guys would know, but no, you're not. You know, you could say something like that totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ew! Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew as soon as you shift the position, something was happening. Don't even try. Oh my gosh! You smell? It? Oh no! I don't even want to smell. <laughs> Whoo! Man, I don't smell it yet, which is good. She's shaking. So She's guys, um, I'm actually taking She's over the channel. This is gonna be. A oh my gosh, Eric, that was so bad. <laughs> That's actually really bad. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smell yet, which is good. Oh, I'm you're gonna smell here probably like in a few minutes. No, I don't want to. Uh, this is not okay. So it's actually the electric. I'm actually gonna open up my own YouTube channel about straight up just uh, How to fart, fart and ASMR. Uh, the perfect. Uh, Ew, people okay, are gonna. Clear. People, I think we're clear. People are gonna get off to that. Babe, <laughs> the farting, the farting channel. Listen, it's have crazy. you seen cake farts? No, I haven't. No, what is that? You haven't seen cake farts? No. Well, you guys are viral. screaming right now. It's a viral video of a lady who like farted on a cake to turn a guy on, <laughs> and she was just like, "You like cake farts?" And she's like, <laughs> she like sat on the cake. <laughs> We should watch it. Yeah, we should. Bonding time. Yeah, it's a, everyone knows cake farts. There's people commenting like, oh my god. Well, it's like two girls, one cup. I remember that. It's like that. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think two. Did I? Two yeah. girls, one mm -hmm. cup. That was fake, I heard, though. It, was, it wasn't It was actually like real. I mean, I like, don't even. I don't think it's real. I Listen, fetishes are fetishes, but something I just. Oh, oh my god, I can't even. That made me legit want to vomit the first time I saw it. I was I, it's just the fact that it goes in your mouth. I mean, that was just. I don't know. There, um. <laughs> Do you know what Meatspin was? Did you ever get Meatspin? Oh, the guy writing. <laughs> Someone said that to me. And Yo, okay, so short little story. I'm sorry. I did that to my mom as a prank. I put your that mom. <laughs> what did you do? Okay, so explain to them what Meatspin okay, meat is. Okay, Meatspin is male genitalia doing this, and it's like another dude doing that to him. And that doesn't make sense. It's a guy who's riding someone's dick. <laughs> he's he's the top. And he's playing like you know reverse cow reverse cowgirl up it's and down up, up like... and down, and it's making the dick go weep 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 weep. You know bouncing. Okay, and so continue. So my mom one day, I was I was an, I was an asshole kid. Okay, I said that it's her home screen for her Internet Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. 
<laughs> she was like, Eric. <laughs> she knew it was me, like instantly. I'm and like, like, and this is why we're not gonna have kids because oh, they're man. gonna be shitheads like him. Oh. <laughs> I was such a little oh low gosh. douche kid. And oh. so meat spin, he didn't like go find a meat spin video. It was an actual like meme of like it was a, like a gif of a guy doing yeah, it. And the it, and language, the the quote, the caption said. You, you look for 10 seconds, you're officially gay. Yeah. But most people will look for a minute because they're in shock. They'll they're be like, like, what is that, dude? I have no idea what this is. I, I, I can't a, get a So there's a, the song, You Spin Me Round, right. right Round. That was the song behind it. It just oh. kept going. Like, dude. Oh, oh your man. Your poor mother. Oh. Oh. I feel so bad. It was so funny. Oh, this is so funny. Yeah, there's tons of other stuff too. I did as a kid, but. <laughs> oh, I just love being that little shit. Oh my god. My mom would not allow that. Yeah, you'd be probably like banished from the house for like eternity. Yeah. I don't know if my mom would have laughed or just had no reaction. My mom, I couldn't even like. I think that she would have had no reaction. She would have just been like, "You think this was funny?" That's kind of. She would just would have been pissed, but not like, "Let's forget about it." Type of pissed. I think my mom would probably cry. And tell us how disappointed she was in me. It's like, I don't know, it's crazy to hear these different family dynamics. I'm like, Your mom wow. being like, Eric. My mom's like, ha ha, ha ha honey, that's funny. But like, your mom also, like, she was the cool parent growing yeah. up. She was like my the mom, one we all wanted yeah, growing up. Got me uh, the when I was young. Bought him like the explicit CD. Mm -hmm. Complimented you? Well, you oh, your yeah, experience, yeah. and you said like, you have a very nice penis, and I wasn't used to like. He does, he has a very nice penis. Thank you. <laughs> I just. It's very aesthetic. Aesthetic. It's very. It's just I just always thought it's my pretty. penis. It's a pretty. Penis, pretty. Yeah. Well, I mean, I always thought my penis just looked like a penis. Mm -hmm. I've seen some weird penises. Like those weird ones that are like. Yeah, I there's a curve. Is your straight? Is I would straight? say it's pretty yeah, straight. Yeah, it's very straight. It goes one way. Mm. It's not going a bunch of different directions. Hi guys, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> but some of them curve up too. They could go up. Some curve down. Yeah. Some go left. Some go right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some have small heads, some have huge heads. Yeah, some are like cones. Cones, cut, yes. uncut, big balls, little balls. Yeah. There's lots of different penises. I would say this is the same with like. Vaginas look very different. Yeah. Oh, vaginas. I mean, I've never had sex in real life, but I've like looked at porn and like they all look so different. Some are like, like sandwiched together. Some are open like a flower, like flaps, like. <laughs> like there's all different looking pussies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just, you, you like the, just the way you described that was like so perfect. I'm like, yes. We're like, yeah. They're open like flowers. Yeah. To, well, I mean, I just have to say that. That's be it's very true. true. With what you say next. Okay, she came. Don't no no. Let's like, like stop, she's, Eric. Let me just stop. It. Let me explain it. Do you guys want to hear it? You, you may have it? to cut this out. She Nick, just goes, have, this is she just goes, stop, Nick. Watch <laughs> this before you. Let me just. Let me just talk about her. Let me just talk about it, please. Okay. I'm scared. They want to know. About what? You just have a very nice vagina. Okay, well thank you. And you were like nice one penis. day, you're you're like, I've been told that I have a porn star pussy. I have been told that. And that's really, that's babe, saying something like that is a very, Nick, can you back me up on this? That is a very big compliment to give somebody. Like, to have a porn star pussy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> am I right or am I right? I don't know. I don't watch much pussy porn. I don't know. If somebody told you you have a porn star penis, would you be complimented? You're like, I'm Ron Jeremy, what's up? <laughs> right all the time. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy's the man. Oh, yeah. Ron Jeremy's the <laughs> yeah. I love Ron Jeremy. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's it. Old porn star. Famous. Oh, he's like a first. Yeah. 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 He's gross, but it's... The girls loved him. Yeah, I guess it's one of those things where you're just like, wow, like, I thank you. Like, but... Uh, I will say one of the most horrifying things. So I'm, I'm not a guy that like, obviously for my legs being shaved, body hair is like not a huge thing for me. No. And um, do, do you know, you, babe, do you know what a muff is? Yes, I know what a muff is. Yeah, when I- A muff. A muff. I probably know. Basically unshaven. Yeah, so it's just like- <laughs> All natural. Oh, bushy, yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't that's... know they called it a, they had a name for it. Yeah, I didn't know. I that. just hear no hairy or smooth. I don't hear like muff. Do you oh, it's like a mm, like a full on carpet. Afro. Down there. Yeah, it's like, like boom. It's, boom. it's hitting your face. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that was yeah. I've had really rough experience with one of those, and that was just enough for me to just be like, okay, well, a lot of guys like that though. Why? Remember all the porn from like the seventies, seventies and eighties. 
They all had hairy pussies. Okay, I went to Amsterdam and they had a like a history of sex porn it museum. It was appealing to it and still like is. it was like porn across the ages. It was really interesting to see like how the looks the trends. have changed. Yeah, the trends over the and days. one day it's gonna go back to bush. Could be in ten years, fifty years, because they go back and forth. I've had LASIK hair removal, so I won't be able to go. Oh, you can't go stuff. there. No. no. <laughs> What, I'm just smiling just around the great This is good. Well, I mean, we all have preferences. We're human oh beings. Oh my god. And everyone's different, too. I mean, like, yeah. I have had guys who like me hairy. I've had guys that like me shaped. Yeah. I have guys who only like it trimmed. They don't want it completely shaved. They're like, ew, that's mole rat. No, have it a little hair, so you're not like like 12 looking, but you're not like bushy. That so they like sense. it trimmed. I say that. Some guys like it like actually like shaped. Like you like you know how like I do about it? Yeah, 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 you yeah, like yeah. just like crop crop it, get the edges, wow. make it look wow. like a square. Like, like a landing it. pad. There you go. Well, I mean there was that viral video or viral, viral picture of that girl that got it she had she had like a tattoo that said George W and then an arrow pointing down to the bush. <laughs> George W. I'm like, hello, well that is so right. funny. There's a there's some, there's some dredge tummy push. It's actually a pretty clever joke. That's funny. That is clever. But have you ever seen the guy who's got like it's like on the inside of his lip and it's like pussy eater? Something like that. Have you ever seen no, that picture? No, no. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea though too. Girl. Or no, or maybe it was across his mustache. Pussy eater. Pussy eater, something Dude. like that. I wanna have it like yeah. outside for everyone to see. Yeah. Hi grandma, how are you? <laughs> Are you going to church? I need to ask for forgiveness. This is the bread of Christ. Pussy. Eater. I can see the grandma going, Honey, what is that your tattoo said? Puss, pussy ear? Oh, man. It's like, I don't know. That's, oh, man. Goodness. Grand, the older generation will never, like, it's just. Like when she when she showed her grandma my our our first food challenge date together, and it was just like fart joke, fart joke, sex, sex joke. More sex jokes. I'm like, funny. oh and she no. was probably like I this don't think time. she could even hear half she of totally it. Could. So. <laughs> she totally could. She couldn't hear half of it. Well, did she think. laugh or did she just watch with a straight face? I don't think she could really hear, so I think she was just <laughs> pretending to be amused by it. She couldn't hear? Oh, I don't know. I don't think she could really hear. I don't think she could hear it. Oh. I don't think she could pick up on half the things he was saying. Yeah, I'm too, I'm too out there sometimes. <laughs> Actually, most times. <sighs> Well, well, today was a success. It yeah, was a success. It was fun. It was way fun. It was really fun. Next time, so when you come to San Diego, we'll go to SeaWorld. You'll get yes. And SeaWorld, we they can have, go see the whales. The vegans are going to get so mad. It's fine. Like, they're already mad about what I eat, but. Ooh. Well, so SeaWorld is actually so, like, environmentally friendly mm -hmm. now. Everything you, like, they. It's all paper. Blackfish really hurt SeaWorld, so they're like, okay, we really got to crack they down. Stuff. Well, like, they, they, all their it. straws are cardboard. They won't give you lids to your pops. Yeah. They're, they're, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're probably better off than every amusement park. So yeah. now they need the same amount of energy that they gave to Sea Sea World. They need to give it to Six Flags. They need to give it to Disney World. They still have toppers, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now Sea World, ironically, might be better because mm -hmm. I got Maybe. that pressure. Their wheels are the dolphins are so cute. Yeah, well, we'll go to Sea World. You can get turkey legs there. You can yeah. get a ton of food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big so if you guys want to see a Sea World, yeah, comment below. Video. Comment I've never below. been to San Diego. And if anybody wants to sponsor it. Yeah, Sea World. Yeah, like our tickets. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> all right. we'll hop right in. They actually have this cool little gondola thing you can go over the water. He was freaking cool. out the entire time. I'm afraid time. of heights. Oh, oh, yeah, that's really like plane rides. Yeah, I'm Eric the Electric, aka I'm Eric the Electric, afraid of heights. <laughs> so cool, so cool. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm lame for that, but yeah, it's okay. But yeah, when you come to San Diego, we're definitely gonna hit us. I've never been there. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, really like Sea World. The zoo. <clears throat> My husband really loves the zoo. Yeah, the zoo's really good. Cool. He loves animals. Me too. I'm like, oh, okay with animals. Yeah, I, I love my bird. I miss my bird, but. Oh, what kind of bird? I have a turkey parrot. No way. Uh, yeah, and it's in, his th it's in like a bunch of his thumbnails, too. You got like a little. It's so like big, an actual big green bird? bird. Like this bit, like this big. Aww. And he would say, noodle, noodle. And I would hand him a noodle. And <gasps> no we would way. eat noodles, and I'd be eating it, and he would come here and take it from my mouth and pull it out of my mouth. <gasps> Like mine, mine, mine. <gasps> that is so he was funny. So cute. What happened to him? He's in Colombia. We couldn't bring him out. Oh. Yeah, so, so did you set him free, or what did you? Do? No, he can't fly. Well, he could fly if he regrows his feathers, but no, he's with one of Orland's family members. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, we have actually two birds. They're both together with Orland's family member. So oh, I would miss them so much. 
Oh yeah, I had a whole lots of crying about it. Oh, oh I'm sure. So I like cried dropping off my dog to the boarding for a few days. Yeah, I'm never never gonna see Mr. Noodle again. Oh, that's so yeah. sad. That was his name, Mr. And Noodle. And I, Mr. Noodle, because he called for noodles. Would you Would you let me sit on your shoulder and just pick up noodles for you? <laughs> I'll just take them off your plate. <laughs> Anytime you don't want any, I'd like just like hand them to me. You'll peck it. His noodle. he's gonna peck my noodle. No, I'm not pecking his noodle. Eric the Electric Goodness wants gracious to gracious people. You want to peck my noodle? Uh, I'm about to nutter this butter right now. Nutter my butter and slurp my noodle. <laughs> okay. Oh, and man. with that said. <laughs> with that said. Um. Yeah. Well, Mr. Noodle was great. I still have so many old footage too. Back to footage from like a year ago, uh -huh. where he's in it, and I'm gonna be so sad when I have to edit those to release them randomly for you guys. Like, boom, you're gonna get Mr. Noodle one day and be like, oh my god, Mr. Noodle. Oh my god, Nick was so skinny. Oh my god. Oh, they love to point that out. They love to point that yeah. out with me too. <clears throat> yes, guys. Yeah, I'm skinny. It's like, guys, we do food videos. That's We're not gonna seven. be 10% um, body fat, uh, 150 pounds. You know, it's, it takes a lot to do all this. Well, I don't try, so at least you actually try. You actually like. I'm getting bored with it. I'm getting tired of trying. So I'm just one. He might switch to mukbangs, you guys. I might. I might. I don't think I'm as nearly at on the same level of being as charismatic as you are, but you know. Is it hard to like sit and have a conversation by yourself? For most people, probably yeah. But I just love it. I'm a little crazy. I'm just like ah. I always have things to talk about. I always. So today I was at the store and some. Bitch totally hit me with her cart, and I was like, "Wait, what are you doing?" <laughs> like, yeah, I, tell, I just tell stories. Yeah, yeah, that's actually cool. That's why, and I always have something to say. I don't know why, I just do. So, yeah, there's people who say they don't even watch me; they listen to me, mm -hmm. like doing the dishes, painting their nails, like commuting to work all the time in the car. They yeah. just put it on the speaker and they listen to me talk. You have Maybe, a very, you have a very calming voice. voice. Yeah. yeah, you definitely do have a very yeah. therapeutic oh, voice. Thanks. You know, uh, Raina told me that too. Yeah. When you were shows, she's like, you know, you should do books on tape. I could like listen to you talk. Like, I don't hear you talk. And she's like, maybe it's your accent. I don't know. She's like, you should do books on tape. I said, yeah, people have told me that. So. Do you speak multiple languages? No. Just English. Just English, barely. I don't really hear. An I can't accent even at read. All. I'm like, oh. What kind of? I don't even hear an accent. No. I don't know. Oh, just the way you talk. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's because she speaks uh, Chinese. So I think English was her. Was it her second? I don't remember. I don't know if that's what she meant. I don't know. She told me yesterday. She said, I don't know if you have an accent or something like that. It's something in like, your voice is very velvety. No. Velvet? Oh, mm -hmm. velvety. Ooh. Yeah, people said I could do the movie theater, like, come into theaters near you. You know, like, yeah. oh, you mean, like, yeah. that, like, like, that, like, low, low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah. You totally could do that. Yeah, I could read, like, something on here and be like, I'm about to notice this butter. Yeah. yeah. Read that. Read that paragraph. If you love peanut butter, you have to try the Nutter Butter cereal. Wow. Wow. You are really good. <laughs> I mean, I could practice it. I mean, that was like, whatever. But I mean, maybe I could learn how to do it. Because they obviously hire people for yeah, that Yeah, there's voice. voice coaches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I could do a movie theater voice person. There's my new job. There you go. Don't have you ever thought about Now I can like, be skinny again. Yeah. Radio. I, think that I always oh, thought that would be too. really fun. Mm -hmm. Radio. Yeah, because I love to talk, so maybe that's like my avenue out of mukbang, a radio show. I just hope they pay. Like, they probably don't. They're probably like, oh shoot. I think you're good. you're better off with mukbangs for now. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. You're gonna stay the king for as long as they want you. Until to be no, king. until I'm thirty. After thirty, I'm not putting my body through this. No. Yeah, that's yeah. understandable. That's you can get away with a lot. I feel like twenties too. But when you hit 30 and 40, that's when you start doing some permanent damage. We got four or five years left before we're like, mm. Yeah, I have about four, uh, three years. People so. don't understand. It's it's crazy, especially like even doing once a week, like $15,000. There's so many like older women too who watch me and they're like, if I just did what you did for a week, I would gain 30 pounds. Like their metabolisms are so slow. They're 50 years old, these women. They like take two extra crackers and <clears throat> you know, like, yeah. and they just. But they're also probably eating more than they think they are. Well, there's no that. way I could do it. Like, yeah. do like a mukbang every single day. There's no way. No yeah. way. I'm young, so. I'd probably, I'd probably gain like 20, 30 pounds too. Like, there's no way. Oh, of course, yeah. Aww. But as long as you're happy. You I'm know. very <laughs> happy. I love to eat, so. We do too. Yeah. We had a lot of good, a good day of eating for sure. Yeah, we did. I gotta say that caramel apple was just. That caramel apple was my favorite for sure. Really? I couldn't even bite into it. You tried though. 
I tried. It was too hard. <laughs> Try to get it in. Just too hard. It's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh. It's true though. True story. I literally couldn't bite it. Can't get into it. No. It's funny because I, I got into it like super easily. I was, <laughs> I was sitting there like, Nick, did you just really just struggle with this? Because uh, I just really bit into this in like a half second. I was like, mm, okay, more for me. You have jaw strength though and stamina. <laughs> kind of. What are you trying to say there, dude? You're a competitive eater. <laughs> <laughs> a competitive eater. Oh, <laughs> I can't even like everything we say is so like well it's sexual. like there's something about food and <laughs> sex like it's so interchangeable it really is uh, I've had it yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean honestly it takes a lot of jaw strength to, to do to eat the food and it translates well <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see the comments on this video. Oh, okay. oh like, you this is disgusting. <laughs> People are filthy. Yeah. What are you promoting? You can cut out as much of this as you want. I'm literally gonna leave everything except for the one that you told me. Oh no, you didn't. You're like Nick, edit out, and then he just said your vagina was nice. So um, you're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, was but he didn't go into detail. I mean, honestly, looking the at top like, one goes this nice. way. You don't know that, babe. You definitely would know that looking at you. You don't what? know that. Like you, if you saw her walking down the street, you'd be like, Dang, she's probably got a nice vagina. You can never tell. You can never I look tell. at guys and be like, oh, he probably has a huge cock. And it's like, no, it's average. It's like, it's have, you, have you ever been with a guy where you're just like, so disappointed? Yeah, but if I'm, sometimes I'm more attracted to their face anyway, or their personality, so I don't even care. Like some girls really are like, oh, shoot, it's so bad. But... I see, like, that would, like, you know, imagine being a guy, for, like, lucky, I'm blessed with a big dick, but I, <laughs> imagine, I just feel so bad for guys who have small dicks, like, people, like, in this situation, like, you'll have a hookup, you like the girl, you, you treat her good, you buy her dinner, you get and there, and you're just you like, you get there, and she's like, you know, and it's like, that's not your fault, you know, it's not, it's just, and you have, that's yours, that's your body part, that's what you have forever, and you're always going to be like, look down upon. Oh no, I feel so bad for tiny dick guys. When you say tiny dick, do you mean like micro penis? No, I even mean for app because people you know, they'll see an average size and be like, oh that's small. It's like, no, that's normal. I mean I'm not saying I've seen lots of dicks before in person. I mean Nick, you know what, it's fine if you have. It's not a big deal at all. What? The internet's like if you've seen a lot of penises, that's fine. Like I in honestly, person. I yeah, but the guys at the gym, like, first of all, they're all soft, so it's not like... Well, even, like, these, like, old dudes... The soft like, is, like, micro, yeah. Well, you'd think that. I've seen, like, 70-year-old dudes where I'm, like, looking oh, at the man. floor. They're, like, they're... they're you see, like, the peripheral vision. Like, it's like, bro, what are you even, like... like it's, like, swinging as you're it's walking. It's, like, exactly, and I'm, like, I'm not... I'm even... I'm not into that at all. I'm just, like... It's almost, like... It's, like, a bad car accident. You cannot look away. You're just, like... <laughs> Well, you can see it out of the corner of your eye. Yeah, you can see like, it like walking by, like boom, boom, dude. Boom, it's boom. like, what is that guy? People like? have big tits. People have small tits. Yeah, like, girls have big tits. Girls have small tits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do girls get like? I feel like guys are so shamed for like if you have a normal dick, and I think that's just so dumb. But don't girls get chest uh, shamed? Like, um, oh, she's a flat chest. Oh, she's. Oh an yeah, I, well, I got teased all the time. Oh yeah. It's like, the same yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's I mean, just dumb. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people who like small yeah. tits. Yeah, it's true. Like, actually, they prefer small tits. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, have, I have some friends who are, they prefer small tits. Like, I don't know. Friends. I was always just attracted to big boobs when I was a kid. I was just like, man, boobs, they're awesome. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you just touch them and you realize that they're just like a thing that's soft and fluffy, <laughs> like a pillow. Like a pillow. Pillow. <clears throat> pillow. <laughs> Yeah, minor fake, minor, minor more like well, your, your boobs are nice. Minor, they're like, like they're perfect. They're the perfect size. <laughs> I can fit my hands on them. And like they don't go anywhere. They Oh shit. They don't. I had to be honest. He's still talking about it. I'm like, <laughs> Well, that's where, well, there's some mus there's some pectoral, so my muscle holds them in place. Yeah, no, they don't go anywhere. I've seen girls in the gym that like have no boobs, but they have like pecs. pecs. 
Oh, wow. But they probably, they're on the juice. They microdose, you know. Yeah. That is so common. Oh, never mind. I was gonna ask you guys about that, but no, I'm kidding. What? <clears throat> ask me Like, what? how common it is, you think, for people like microdose and. Oh, on, on, on steroids? And oh, it's totally it's very common. common. I feel like one in every like, three guys does it. Oh, oh yeah. At yeah, least. Totally and, and they don't even. Typically, if you have a suspicion that a guy is on steroids, I can always tell because just look for a girl. Look at her jawline uh -huh. and shoulders. Shoulders. Uh, guys, just look neck. at their shoulders. Yeah, and their neck. Neck. And it's pretty. It's Red awkward. face. When you take androgens, your your androgen receptors are most in your shoulders, so you'll see the sculpted 3D look. Yeah. And it's just so it's pretty easy to tell. I think the biggest giveaway it's for so females is the jaw. Yeah, it it's so common. And the voice, if their voice is super deep, mm -hmm. they're like, "Hello, my name is Michelle." I'm. <laughs> it's like you can definitely tell they're it's on the Very, very common. And so, there's not that we actually there's have so many people. At all. There's so many people who don't realize how common it is, and they feel like most people are natural. When I think most people are doing either diuretics or something yeah. to look a certain way. Yeah. And you go to the gym, you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna look like this in like five months." It's like natural bodybuilding is so slow. It yeah, takes it's a long super time. Slow. It takes years. And yeah, like I had no idea, but I had a trait. Like I said, I had a trainer. And she taught me everything to look for, because she did it too, when she was competing. Yeah, and a bunch of, I have a few friends that take stuff and it's kind of just like, I actually think as long as you're safe about it and you know what you're doing, that there's not, like we have more stuff now that's legal, like alcohol, um, certain, like like caffeine is the most, most widely abused like legal drug that there is and it's completely fine. Like people are actually gonna get into more trouble with caffeine and alcohol and certain other prescription stuff too than they would yeah. with steroids. Yeah. So it's like, it really just depends on who you're talking to, you know? And I think a lot of girls, they like, because I've been lifting for almost eight years, like consi eight, eight years, yeah. consistently. And a lot of girls, cause I'm 28, and a lot of girls who get into weightlifting, they're in their, their younger 20s and they want mature, mature lean mass when really it takes years to put on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they think years. again the first year, maybe two years. No, yeah. it takes so long for, and I only look like super cut right now is because I'm cutting. Yeah, the it's diet. my diet. Like, and I do two a days right now. And it's like, it's a lot of work to like get my body fat low. But I've dropped probably 10 pounds since New Year's. And like Christmas time, I was very, very soft. And like, so it's most girls don't realize that it takes years to build on mature. And so and I know, and I know guys. coaches that sell their bikini girls like steroids and stuff. Really? Like, that. like wow. it's just like, I can't believe it. It's the crazy. World we live in. Yeah, it's crazy. And they're young, like 21, 22. I'm just like, oh my gosh. That's so scary. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Uncle Sam is telling you. Why are you even talking about this? Oh, the locker room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the the, the well, dig big. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's like signs in the locker room that says no steroids allowed, something like oh, that. Really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, some, some say that. Yeah, a lot of our locker rooms say that, too. Oh. The it's one like, in Texas. If, it's like, if I was going to take steroids, I, I wouldn't do it in a public in a place. In gym. Full of where there's freaking yeah. other people. It's like, hey, dude, you want to see this, man? Like, see this? Super cool, bro. Check it out. I'm going to stick a needle in my butt. I want you to see is that. Is it usually going in the butt? Uh, well, I'm, well, I've actually had friends injecting their, in their chest. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You get like a big juicy barrel chest, you can just put a I straight hate up needles. needle in there. I hate needles. There's needles no aren't that bad. Oh, no. No, no. I couldn't no, do it. No. Mm -mm. I hate needles, but I love alcohol. tattoos? Speaking of needles, no. no? You don't have any tattoos? Could never. Why not? I just, I am so afraid of tattoos and... I'm, I have a very low pain tolerance. Mm -hmm. That's the honest answer. It depends on where you get them at. Like some tattoos don't. No, I can't even get my blood pressure taken without passing out. I go unconscious. It's just like to get a cuff. Yeah, I've had a medical phobia since I was like a kid. So like oh, wow. going to the dentist is traumatizing for me. And like wow. just going into a hospital, I start shaking, I get sweaty, my heart accelerates. It's it's like a real fear. So. Speaking of medical stuff, that eye, when you got your eye, did that happen? <gasps> That's my view most viewed video. Oh, that was crazy. Was he got, uh, what happened with your it eye? It was like a sty or something. Yeah. Like an infection went into my mm -hmm. eyelash and it just blew up. It was like as big as this. It was like a big ball in my eye. Wow. And I just like tried opening my eye on camera. I'm like, look you guys. And there's all this like pus Ooh. and goobies and you know, I got 20 million views. Everyone wants to see it, you know? How did you get it removed? We went to the hospital, they gave me ointment, and um, I think I took some kind of medicine, I don't remember. And it went away? Yeah, in like a couple days I already started to go down. Wow, that's crazy. crazy. Thank God for medicine. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I 
Well, right? like, I mean, we had so much fun today. What's what's the next thing that you're looking forward to doing in LA? Uh, probably my next collab. Uh, is that Wendy's? No, it's um, Honey Eats. <laughs> when you're driving. No, I'm driving. Well, I'm driving like, now. She's driving now, everyone. Fine. Oh, <laughs> she's like, fuck you. I'm actually hungry, so. I'm so full. I know, if there's a burger here, I would eat that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, probably. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but when you, you have a big day of eating, you're just like, you know what? You can't, or you're like, fuck it. It's already bad. It, it is what it going. is. Yeah, Orly and I call them fuck it days. We used to like try to go on diets together and we would slip and it'd be like, fuck it! And so we'd just pig out all day, all day as much as we could. She'd be like, let's get burgers. Yeah, let's get pizza too. And I'm just like, I'm full, but let's order wings. Just like, fuck it, I cheated, so let's keep going. Is that how you feel right now? Uh, kind of. <laughs> but you know what? I'm also at the point, ooh, good, good night. Um, I'm also at the point where it's just like, you know what? I'm good at the same time, so. Well, you guys, this was fun. This was a very so long nice video. Fun. I can't wait to watch this. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. So much fun. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Oh, yeah, well, thanks for meeting me and filming with me. And yeah, we had fun. It's been a pleasure anytime. Yeah. Why are you being so creepy? I'm creepy. <laughs> I know. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to get going. Um, Thanks for watching and chilling out with us. I hope you enjoyed your food. Don't forget to check out their channel. Links in the description box. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Later, guys. Bye. Later. You really shaved your butt. I shaved my asshole. What's wrong? What's the problem? I did not that? know that. Oh, I, I, I guess you're not totally, open enough I'm to totally look. I'm totally expect inspecting, inspecting that. Inspecting. Like, I need to see this. Now. I need to inspect that. Well, do you, you both apparently want to see my butthole? I'm not. Asking. I'm, no, my. I know she is. My. <laughs>